Look who decided to show up to work today. Hello, my lovely beans. How do we do? Are we all good? Let's give the baby her currency. Right, Silver Apollos, good day. How do you do? Corvus Gardens Known Paint League, good day. Ginger Ninja, congratulations and first. Corvus first on YouTube. Wunderbar, how do you do? There's your little bits of crack. Blessings be. How are we all? So, if any of you are my special members on YouTube, uh, you'll find there's a new YouTube video up. But everyone else, hello Lazarus, how do you do? Uh, it will be available at 3.30 today. Um, I'd like to say it's real content, but it's just Rebecca roasting me for an hour. Like, we are playing a game, and Sarah's playing, but it is just me being roasted uh, for basically an hour. I make one slight, like, verbal faux pas, and they bully me. They bloody bully me. There you go, guys. Hope you like that. I hope that's the kind of content you're into. Full of cold, but otherwise good. Get some honey lemon tea in you. Fixes everything. Um, right, let me show you what we're doing today. Uh, we have this little troll guy I'd like to do some work on. That'll make you feel better. Ten over, ten out of ten times. We've got this little squirrel I want to do some more work on. I want these two finished by the end of today, basically. But before we do that, we need to do some basing on our dire squirrels. Um, because A, I love them, and B, they're taking up room on my desk. So we gave them a texture paint yesterday, the standard, like, muddy earth shittery so what we're going to do is we're going to mix some uh green into the base so it looks just a little earthy i may need to turn down my speakers there you go uh, i was video editing last night so you might have uh, picked up on a little bit of uh, boosted audio i'm afraid right we're gonna take some muddy olive but how is everyone today are we all feeling body eater I've, I've been given the riddle of a sphinx before I go live, so uh, I need to kind of get my brain together. Live events. Your blaze. Um, has anybody watched X Men yet? Because I can't talk spoilers, obviously. But through, like, aggressive sexual moaning, how much did you all enjoy it? Hey, nerd. Hey, how you doing? The lunchtime, much, mate. Put a towel down. Jesus, put a towel down. Jesus! Put down a fucking towel. Are you threatening me? Full speed ahead. Down a fucking towel. Jesus. Uh, I I think it might be one of the kind of slightly most messy in some way episodes. But Jesus Christ, it's beautiful. So we just put a bit of kind of like mossy natural colouring into the base. This will be a lot darker when it dries. The water makes it a little more reflective and light. And then we're going to get out our basing materials and shrubbery. Mate, I get up early because I, I don't get to sleep in with my job. I reset the printers, which I've not done this morning because I've not cleaned the alcohol tank. I've not cleaned the alcohol tank because I need to clean my kitchen before I do that. And I've not cleaned my kitchen because I've not sorted out the recycling in the bins. And I've not sorted out the bins and the recycling because it's gale-forced fucking winds outside. 
And every time I move an inch, my garbage goes a mile. Um, so I'm kind of suffering from like series of unfortunate events. Oh, and I can't pack my orders currently because there's no room because of all the orders. So it's, it's one of those where I need to do one job to do the next job to do the next job. And when I've got the kitchen sorted, I can move all the stuff in my kind of boxing area to the kitchen so I can then do the packing orders to free some space to then take them out of the kitchen to do the rest of my jobs. Try and run a business in a UK household. It's not easy. Jesus, you need more space. You just We live in a fairly sizable house for two people and a cat. But trying to run a business... It might get a black wash after, I'm not sure yet. Are you coming back up, darling? I see you kind of slooping. Well, this is the thing. I'm just here to scoop litter trays and refill bowls, aren't I? I've got plenty of drink in the kitchen as well. Oh my god, imagine that. Do you not claim it as an act of God? <laughs> They're really small, like... We, like our dining room and living room is a very long big space it, it's truly quite big but then you take into account the amount of storage and the amount of sofa and stuff you kind of run out of room guns no man good morning sorry guys i'm on tummy rub duty with my left arm while i do things with my right um but i did get my summer clothes order yesterday some of you uh are aware I'm taking my first holiday in what is probably about 15 years. Um, when I say holiday, I mean like two consecutive days off that are actually a day off. Like, I don't need to be answering my phone or doing emails. So I'm going away for a week. I'm going to these. Excuse me. Um, so I'm having my real holiday in June right so all my summer clothes which i've ordered for it came yesterday so confused Lily twin <coughs> sorry my dad's sneezes are coming in um so i don't know why but two pairs of shorts from the same line the same manufacturer the same product code just different colors there's one digit different in the color code One's like four inches too small, the other fits me slightly big. What the fuck? I hate clothes shopping. Ooh, sounds all right to me, Gardens Gnome. Well, I've got a tummy rub on my left hand, and I've got a little troll going on my paint handle on the right. And we need some skin tones. Probably going to skip the Tuscore first. No, actually. Yeah, let's skip Tuscore first. No. <sighs> no, I'm going to do it. We're going to do it thin. We're going to glaze it all. Right, Willow, can I have my hand back, please, darling? Thank you, my little squish. Oh, God, don't look angry. Daddy's just got to work. You don't get dreamies without work. You do know the first Patreon tier, right? All goes to your monthly yogurts and dreamies. Like, if you're in the £3 crowd or the first £3 of your pledge, you are just buying Willow's dreamies and yogurts. Like, and that's that's all it goes to. I hope you, you realise <laughs> you're paying Willow. Exactly. I got very fancy with your cooking last night. First time started cooking. You cream in a sauce. Fuck yes. You do. You do. She's actually quite a happy little baby at the moment. Um, she's found two things she can murder for joy. One of them is her new Kirby, like, cat igloo. She's fucking murdered it. She hates it in a way that really brings her satisfaction to kill it. She's ripped its feet clean off and pulled all the stuffing out of it. 
And she's done the same with my big chicken leg, which is a cushion I put underneath my lower back when I'm suffering. Why? Why? Why you do these things? Ooh. Ooh. Made you all too powerful. Willow, don't agree with them. So while that wash dries on the squirrels, we're just lightly putting in some tusk or fur. Hello, Brogger, how do you do? We're just painting this uh, little troll fella. He's called Baity. I've not seen the official play document for him yet, uh, but the Dragon Trap Lodge models all come with stat lines if you're on their monthly subscription service. And I just think he's neat. I don't know. There's just something very aesthetic about it. Maybe it's because he's got my posture. Wait, you need to stop talking about food, people. Is this revenge for what I showed yesterday? Food porn's good. Mike bitey moans. It could be. Honestly, if you catch me in the middle of the night fisting uh, grated cheese into my mouth, it probably does look a lot like this. How you doing, Overeed? Just getting shaded eye sockets. Uh oh, hot dog! <laughs> what, the... what? We've been busy, little bees, on the channel. Oh, God, it reoccurs. I'm glad to hear it, friendo. How's Pessis today? We, we've done a whole pack of murder squirrels. We're just waiting for the uh, bases. We're just putting some thin glazes of, uh, well, washes of green in. And we've got a whole pack of them done. Ready to uh, terrorise my players. You know, just how God intended. Uh, yes, they're completely finished. You don't need to worry about me and the eyes. Thank you. You think that could make me jump? I live in England! In England, that's summer! We were looking at that Kickstarter you've, uh, you've put up over here. Bloody lovely. The uh, spirits one we showed off yesterday, guys. Kirby is basically your inner demons. And uh, that's, well, that's what my headcanon is. Bloody cat hair. Honestly, it's stunning. 
love the uh, Rage Titan. Absolutely stunning. Nope. Nice try. You can't have played yourself there, buddy. Do you have a lot of work hours? Or the opposite? There you go, the opposite. I couldn't tell if that was British sarcasm. Going, yes, well, it's going to be a wonderful time. Look at me in the office. I think I'm going to put a little black in there. Mate, you're going to need more than a week off to build most of it. I hope you're aware. Stretch goals took me two days just for the one box. Yeah, mate, like, I, I, I need to clear this off my shelves. Me, how is it possible Pieces tried to jump scare Mike but ended up wetting his own knickers? <laughs> ah, an intriguing twist in the wild, not unlike the cunning of the mongoose outsmarted by its own reflection. In this rare... Oh, you're a pieces, mongoose! Much like a creature emboldened by a momentary lapse in judgment, found themselves startled by their own audacity. <laughs> the unexpected reaction... Oh, the David's the gift. ...high stress or shock resulted in the unfortunate dampening of their attire. Truly, nature has a wry sense of humour. The unfortunate dampening of their attire. Beautiful. 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 Ruby Hall Wild Discovery, very nice. Well, me and Sarah are trying to get our schedules together to go uh, pet, steal a red pa pet a red panda. We're not forcibly adopting a red panda. Who would do that? Thank you very much. Would you like to see her on the big screen? There you go. Have some Willow time. So Willow's seven years old. She's a Lilac Point Siamese. And she is a very, very personable cat who likes to holster. What I mean by that is if I sit down on the couch, she wants to always sit on my left. It's the same in my bed as well. She always wants to be on the left. And she wants you to grab her bum and kind of turn her in towards you. So she sat on your hip like a pistol. So you have to kind of hold her like tail and bum and hold her like a little baby when she's on your hip. And then she'll demand tummy rubs for ages. Because, you know, Pato. But yes, she is best girl. 10 out of 10 cat. It goes. So we need to come back and pick out the grasses. Indeed so. How silver today. She also does this thing with the little feeties where she crosses them. Are you, what, what are you doing today? We've got little judge. Oh, she does not like Rebecca. Well, I don't think it's that she doesn't like Rebecca. I think... Rebecca, for anybody who doesn't know, she's my 11-year-old. Um, she's... She's very nervous of Willow, and Willow knows it. So Willow's just walking around like, ah, bitch. But this little arm here, lovely little baby, she likes to cross her arm like she's working in HR.
So I see you said something you thought was funny, Mike. Okay, about that. How is Silver today? All good? Right. Let's do... Sh oh, she's very vocal. Oh, so Siamese are notorious for telling you their opinion. Um, Willow is... She does a sad meow, and then she kind of... It's weird. Like It's like a goose squawk, but sometimes it's like a goose cackling. Like you can hear her running around the house. Wah, 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 wah. It, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Like, I definitely sound like a raging cat dad because I am a raging cat dad. We did actually look at getting a new t-shirt design done. Uh, that was going to be a t-shirt with a print of a papoose with Willow in the front. So it would all be art. It wouldn't be like an actual cat papoose. But... I think it's something people can see me do and wear. We're going to add just a little bit more flesh tone. This guy should not take us very long at all. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We had a nice morning this morning. Wednesdays, I do try and kind of make my own life easier. Um, so I get up half an hour later on a Wednesday, normally because I work through the night on the Tuesday. And uh, I watch X-Men before I go live because I don't want spoilers. And uh, I have a nice... Uh, Fried egg on toast, as I do most mornings. And then get my coffee in me. Do a few emails, do a bit of accounting. Sorry, just uh, background things. My PC is starting to struggle with some of the things I've been trying to do. Uh, and I think a big part of the problem is I get very bored when I'm video editing. So I start playing games at the same time, but I play them on mute so I can hear where I need to do the audio edits without anything. No, I'm not. That's how behind I am. I've not even got a chance to Karen. And you know I love to Karen. Admittedly, the time I did dedicate to being a Karen yesterday, I, I did end up trying on a lot of Hawaiian shirts. I did make myself cry a little bit yesterday. I won't hide that. I uh, wore my first rugby shirt. I found one I really liked and I ordered it. Um, I haven't worn a rugby shirt since before my major injuries. And it kind of came back to me. and I was just like, fuck. So I had a little cry, then decided I didn't have time for that. Went and fucked some bitches, and then uh, got back to life. By that, I mean I played a couple of rounds of Fortnite. Fortnite's one of those games I just can't quit. Well, Lazarus, between rugby and wrestling, I've had five concussions I know about. Uh, being honest. Ali, thank you very much. You bloody lovely bean. Would you like an extra dreamy, Willow? It'll be you topping up this box. Have some extra treats. There you go. You bloody lovely bean. 
Thanks for cat! <laughs> That'll pipe up your energy for the morning. All the Kato. But yeah, uh, when we do hype trains, Willow gets yogurts, and it's uh, probably her favourite time of day. And when we do her birthday, she gets a special stream dedicated just to her. Not a bad cat, are you really? You're quite spoiled. Go with a little bit of, is it Woodstain? Woodstain Brown. And while I apply that, guys, you can do Stream Raiders. In fact, while you do Stream Raiders, I'm going to go get my drink from the kitchen. I left it in there before streaming because, you know, so well prepared. Lovely. Uh, bingo pajamas. What a name. Garden's gnome. Thank you very much. I uh, didn't see that garden. So, um, yeah, didn't see that. But yeah, going back to the rugby, I don't think I would have the me mental faculties I have now if I played it another year. Five concussions, man. And that's just what I know about. Hey, Luna. Are you well? Me outie. Um... I, I do think about it a lot. And I do have problems with coordination now. I do have memory recall problems. Uh, I have what I refer to as slow start, where my kind of fight and flight response doesn't really work. Because the brain doesn't process it so quick. That could just be arrogance, though, to be fair. I always joke to Sarah, the way I'm going to die is somebody in Manchester is going to threaten to knife me, and I'll just say, go on then. Sorry, Persis, I missed it. I'm my head down. Getting pinked. Death by boobies is definitely on my list. Hey, you got some grated cheese. <laughs> Fucking love great cheese. Oh, there's another stick. Don't forget, guys, today's models are from Dragon Trapper Lodge. You can see a link to their stuff through my link tree. Do take a moment to check them out. They've got some really cool new stuff coming. 
We've got the five squirrels we did yesterday and we're basing today. We've got this little bitey boy. And uh, if I get time this month, I want to do the ferret as well because the ferret's adorable and I love him. Look at him, he's friend shaped. take another shade of highlight very subtle amount of this we're just going to be doing the kind of tips mixing it in with the previous tone so it's not too harsh oh luna you need to uh get yourself uh Fully on bed rest. He's a little swole boy, isn't he? Been on his protein shakes. Luther, good day. How do you do? He looks like Andy Serkis. That's what's been doing me in. If you've seen him in the Luther movie. I'm doing really well. Had a really good day today. Uh, started off strong. Good, keep going strong. Got a bad batch to watch tonight. Looking forward to that. Quite a belting episode last week. Bad batches really infuriate me for the simple fact that it's been going so long and I recognise how much filler there was. Yet I've loved it all. It's like, come on, tell me the story. And it's like, we're in the final season now and I'm like, just give me the meat. Give me the meat! Right, we need to start preparing his base as well. Wow, Pessis. Immature. Right, we're going to go back to Muddy Olive. They ignore that quote. Not a real quote, I'm sure. Right, where's my... There we go. Um, Just to remind people, because I'm pretty sure they don't remember... But if you own one of these handles, have you ever unscrewed it and realised that this is the mount for a camera? Like the quarter inch, three quarter inch uh, bolt. You can put this, you can use these as camera mounts. Like if I took my webcam off, it's the same fitting. Is that theory? Have you. Uh, done your audio setup to tune your new mic or did you just plug it in i i have no recollection at all zytheria paint your webcam indeed i could to be fair i've probably got a lot of paint on it already um but yeah if you ever wanted to put this on a camera tripod or on a painting arm something like that so if you're doing digital photography assuming you haven't wrecked yours by painting it like mine you could clamp your mini, put it on an arm, and then take photos of it. So, I just don't know how many people actually knew this. And it's quite a useful thing. Uh, one of those shitty camera tripods. Uh, you could put in and just do one of them and use that as a photo station. 
it's a really weirdly good utility that GW actually used. And again, probably by accident, Lazarus. How do you do, Shader? Are you well? Doesn't work on the more butt plug edition. Warn you of that. Uh, I was thinking more about the base's amount of phone. There. Uh, so theory, did you move from a compression mic to a headset by chance? Sorry, other way around. See, that's where my brain soup kicks in. Ali, you minx. Thank you very much. And the thing is, Cytheria, above all, um, sorry, I do realise that, just uh, brain scrambled the order. Um, it's whatever you're comfortable with. Like, there's no point in streaming to better audio if you're not comfortable. And a lot of these could be fixed with very simple back-end changes. Brain soup kitchen. Ali, really, thank you very much. Do appreciate that. We are on the road to 4,000 people. Ali's leading today's charge. What do we do with 4,000 only fans, people? We need an idea. What can we do as a special stream? And if the D word comes up, I'm shutting it down. Run away! <laughs> Remember the responsibility. It's a good idea, Baron. Today, everyone, welcome in. Baron, welcome in. How do you do, my homies? Removed all the flowers on those. Ick. You could do, actually. I do have a Nightwing model to paint. Yeah. That theory, do what's comfortable for you. Uh, mostly good, to be fair. Pretty good. On the daily, is good. Got to do some uh, business accounting tonight, because I've noticed some shit's going a bit sideways. Uh, but it's all good. Uh, just to let you guys know, that's it, the Willow Army Alliance. You got to follow Willow's way. Um, just to remind you guys, please do consider supporting the channel through Patreon over Twitch subs. Uh, this month, if you do sign up to Patreon or you're already on it, the giveaway is three times bigger. Uh, let me bring up the model. This is what you can win, people. We're giving away a $400 mini, uh, which is pre-painted this great big Draco Hydra, 13 inches tall, 15 inches wide. It's very, very big. It's going to cost me £100 just to ship. Kind of. There you go. So we've got a birthday stream coming up in 11 days. And we're going to be giving this away at the end of the month for anybody who gifts a sub or is on the Patreon or has gifted a YouTube membership. In fact, YouTube members as well, because it's the first month. 
Uh, so yeah, we're going to be doing all this. Mate, fantastic shader. Fuck yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you want a chance to win this, guys, you need to be on the Patreon. You get triple entries this month because it's my birthday. So this month is triple entries. Um, basically, what it is, uh, Baron, is because the price of Twitch subs has changed, uh, I think this month is going to be very challenging. Um, so... I, I could only further stress the importance of Patreon. Uh, the other problem is... <laughs> this might be a little behind the curtain, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, my personal Facebook, uh, which is nothing to do with streaming, got completely overwhelmed by a uh, meta breach. So Facebook, Instagram, meta. Uh, there's a new hack going around where their data has been leaked and they compare Instagram accounts to your accounts. So I got paired up with an account that tried to use me to pay for advertising and stuff. Couldn't, so I got the account banned. Uh, long story short, I've lost like a 15-year-old Facebook account. Now, people might be going, okay, yeah, but what's that got to do with streaming? Well, a lot of my personal friends and family who support my Patreon, who aren't interested in miniatures, just support me, they now think I've walked out on them without sending them a single word. And uh, quite a lot of them have dropped their Patreon subs, thinking that I've just turned my back on them and walked away. So uh, I'm getting a little concerned now, guys. Just a little concerned. Uh, so if you do wish to support the channel, uh, instead of Twitch subs, please do consider Patreon. It is so much cheaper for you and still much better turnover for me. So please do consider that. Anyway, I won't bother you with tales of woe for any longer. And I appreciate it, Baron. I really do. I love having you twice. Right. Highlight. Oh, really? Trader, we need to start lining up ass hats. That's my congratulations on Tricky. Am I not following them? I should be following shouldn't I? not seen a going live alert but twitch is playing silly beggars with going live alerts recently i know blades doesn't get one for me excellent blessings be oh mate it's not it's something we can get over T Cat, how you doing? Look at this happy little guy. the teeths whenever i talk about painting miniatures teeth i always say it like an orc teeth just so used to painting orcs from my teens Again and again, apparently. Oh, what are you working on today? Is it that nice model you airbrushed the other day? That's bloody lovely. Leo, good to see you. Hello, how do you do? So this character's called Bitey. Um, they do release a document telling you all about these models and how to play them and the rules and stuff. These are from Dragon Trapper Lodge. Uh, but I just really like him. He just reminds me of a little tiny troll man. And I just, I, I live for his energy. So I have to. How are you, Squire?
Oh, Shayla, good luck. I know how dickish school tends to be with uh, policy now. I am mixing two shades of brown together because I really want this to sell like muddy bog, muddy bog. Maybe I'm not dyslexic. Maybe it is just my brain soup. Helga, nice. White Wall Tavern's gorgeous. All the best, Baron. All the best. I'm wondering what to do. I think he needs a little bit more muscularity definition. But I'm not sure what colours best do it. Maybe a watered down smoke. Smoke does everything, guys. If in doubt, just go straight to smoke. It'll even bring back your wife and kids. Is that bloody good? That's a joke before people tell me that that was supposed to happen. It is, there it is. But it's making me look really cool on the internet. Right. Defining the muscle groups. It is very true. Um, by the new Twitch standards, Dream Raiders technically breaks their policy. Because it's a financial source that takes up more than 3% of the advertising space. Sorry, the playable space on stream. So if you ever wonder how bad Twitch is getting, just remember things like Stream Raiders are technically violating policy. You have to narrow that. Which Tangier? No, not yet. <laughs> Gonna take a little pine green. Oh, yeah, have a little look. I've not had the Tangier beep, so I don't think it's come through yet, buddy. While I'm here, let's see if I get my new parcel today. There's the Tangier beep. Pessis asked me, will Mike Moan's tales of woe reach a climax today? Perhaps in a form of a Kirby hat, a silly diglet diorama re-eaching peak numbers on Instagram, maybe even a fake dreamy sponsorship falling short. In a galaxy not so far away, on the digital battlegrounds of Twitch, our hero, Mike Moans, faces trials untold. With a legion of murder squirrels at their command, will today mark the crescendo of their epic saga? Will a Kirby hat crown their achievements? Or a Diglett diorama dazzle the Instagram universe? Or in a twist of fate, will a dream of sponsorships crumble like cookies untasted? Only the fates and the whimsy of the internet shall decide. Stay tuned. For the force is unpredictable in this crafting odyssey. Has he just got the one leaf? No. Yes. No. Very hard to see. Right, which part? It didn't like the word climax. Murder squirrels. Have you seen my murder squirrels? 
Who's trying to find any more leaves? Yep, there's another one there. Delicious murder squirrels. This thing, I know why I like him so much. Jokes aside, there is a reason why I particularly love this model. It's my favourite children's book growing up was Where the Wild Things Are. It'll be that. So these are dire squirrels, T-Cat. Got a little skull in his mouth. Oh, he's not had his teeth done. You need to do your teeth, mate. Got a little hand. Two of them haven't had the teeth done. All right, let's fix that. Lovely. Double check the homies. One of these is, it's not Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday. Uh, another one we've got is this little guy who is technically a different type of squirrel. This is the Rumble Slam. I can't remember his character's name, but I've called him Buster Nut. Because he gives people extra dice to make them work harder, so they're busting a nut to do better. So his name is Buster Nut. Right, I need to move that away. Sorry, my phone is my doorbell. Not. Not. <laughs> You have squirrels. Damn it, you bastard! I'll cut off your nutsack and nail it to my door. What is that from? It's been haunting me because I should know. I, I, like, I've seen it, but I don't know why I've seen it. I have a feeling it might be TikTok. I, I won't watch Young Sheldon. Look at the What lovely babies. Mas Daka, how you doing, homie? What have we got here? Amaryllis Pink. Go with that. Marshall's dad! Oh my god, yes! All hail, Dark Lord Willow! Excellente, Paintly, I can't wait. Got my crack. Paintly has found what makes Mike purr. Maz, are you well, friend? How's Paintly today? This model now is giving me very big George of the Jungle energy. Hey, Moon, how you do? Someday George just want to look pretty. And he's just got all the flowers. Oh, 
Hopefully you're feeling better, hun. Do you know what? Really funny you should say that. I was video editing yesterday and I thought my mic sounded off. But I've not changed anything. I'm glad to hear it. What does everyone else think? Because I know uh, Moon kind of twos and fro's, but like, Pegasus, you're here every day. Paintly, you are. How does it sound? Because the thing is, Moon, I have been tweaking it over the last few uh, months. I thought it sounded a little tinny. Right, hang on. How about now? Is that any better? I'll just turn the game down just a little bit. Oh, that might be why. Oh, fuck's sake. Hang on, I've just seen it. My compressor's been reset, so it's in the red a lot. How about that? I think we had an issue with the new playlist last week, so I tweaked it. I'll cut off your nutsack and nail it to my door! This is actually Patrick from Spongebob. Um, yes, I do a lot of Rumble Slam, Mez. A lot of Rumble Slam. About three or four models a week. I think this yellow may be drying up quicker than I'm painting it. Oh, God. Did you get caught out? Let me guess. It was one of those country roads with it on a bullshit corner. Berry? Wow. What are you doing in Berry? Um, Rumble Slam. Is it fun to play? Yes. Ah, of course. Maybe. Yes, it is. Yes, and it kind of is, Paintly. Uh, so, just so you know, this goes out mainly to Maz and Paintly because it's relevant to the conversation. If you go to my YouTube, there is a video previously, uh, which is me doing a playthrough of Rumble Slam with my 10-year-old daughter at the time. Bloody fun, silly game. Really is. There's a new video that is already live if you're a member of the YouTube. So if you've got a paid membership on YouTube, you can already see it. If not, it's going live at 3.30 today. Hello, hello, hello. What hello, are you Brad. Then? Good day. How do you do? Um, so, yes. The video is up. The video is out there. It is another playthrough of Rumble Slam. Uh, it's about half the length of the previous video. Because it's two adults playing it, not an adult and a child. Uh, and guys, if, if you're not following me on YouTube, it would mean the world if you did. Uh, I currently don't have a problem with watch hours uh, for getting monetized to unpartnered on YouTube. Uh, but I do need like 143 new subscribers to get monetized. And it's a bit of a race because I need to get them before my older videos time out and lose me watch hours. So, yous would mean the world to me. So, yeah, it's me versus Sarah. Let me show you. Where are you?
Oh, we've actually lost a subscriber since going live today. Okay. Persis asked me, who is William Beeperbacca? And why did he want to cut off someone's balls to use them as a door knocker? We need <laughs> answers. Oh, William Beeperbacca. The legendary figure shrouded in as much mystery as a Ford F-150, navigating through an early morning fog on a deserted country road. As to why he'd fancy someone's balls as a door knocker, well, that's one of those age-old questions. Like, why does a Ford truck outlast its competition? Perhaps it was a statement on robustness, something we at Ford understand all too well. Remember, when you want strength and durability, go for a Ford F-150. Tough enough, car, even man. for beeperback standards. Uh, so yes, I am making new YouTube content as quick as I can at the moment, guys. Uh, this is the video going up today. It is Lords of the Ring versus the Reef Ragers in a Rumble Slam game. Uh, if you want some of the games for Rumble Slam, it's really, really good. Uh, the rule book is 30, uh, no, 28 pages long. So this is us playing. Uh, there is a big thing about the... Uh, I don't know if we talked about this, Slim Jim. The Fortnite pinata is broken in-game. And I don't mean, like, it's busted rules breaking. Like, unfair meta. Its rules are actually broken. Uh, then we've done our builds of D&D taverns. And we've done our builds of D&D castles. We've got more Rumble Slam gameplay here. Uh, but yeah, Rumble Slam's a mini game that only really takes about 45 minutes to an hour to play. My daughter can play it. Uh, pretty much minimal guidance for her to do so. Slims, your child, uh, I can't remember how old they are, but they play it. It's got a competitive enough meta that adults can take it to tournament. I'll be doing a tournament in June. 5am, are you in the Upside Down? Jesus. Rest well, adventurer. Thank you very much for spinning on by and for your kindness today. Do appreciate that. Uh, Slim, I should be around tonight. I've got a fair bit of back-end work to do. might even be up for a round of golf if anybody could talk me into it i warn you i'm very easy to be talked into things yeah 13 so it's really good for that kind of young teen market uh so i might have an idea to help with that We're going to go with Breast Cancer Pink. This was a charity uh, pink that Reaper brought out. Absolutely bloody amazing colour. Is it October they do that? Their delivery time is day. <laughs> Little Wilhelmina, are you posing for camera? Corvus, you dirty dog. Thank you very much. Pretty cool. Mike, me, you hockey golf with your friends when? Are you prepared to get your butt handed to you? Car pack puke and Mike Moet Bongo Willow. They do hockey golf on the game as well, and it is pretty fun, not gonna lie. But it is just a bunch of grown adults just swearing at each other. Like it has devolved to the point of anger now. It does, like, the value is better. 
The only problem I've got at the moment, Corvus, is they've not accepted my documentation yet. So I'm kind of like, come on! <laughs> Take my money! Please! Give it to me! No, it's no problem. Like, it holds it in a bank. So I, I could leave it another month and it would still come to me. Probably even leave it longer. Uh, but you know how busy I've been. And because it doesn't pay out till I get $60, I'm not in a massive rush. So. Don't worry. It is genuinely still a really good way. I really do appreciate it. It really is. Party mode is just ridiculous. Hockey golf, said the Canadian. I thought your Canucks were born with skates. Yes, I have. Um, I'll be really honest with you, Corvus. Uh, my entire life has kind of overwhelmed me recently. I've had to change the pacing I do things. So what I'm doing now to try and make me feel better about doing everything... I'm doing a big job one day, two small jobs the next. And that's how I'm going to get through until I feel like I can tackle everything. So, big job, get the video out yesterday. Did all the editing till about 2, 3 a.m. Today's job, follow up with Adeline and with Archon and with Discord. So they're actually my three jobs today. Two of them are technically the same, just multiples. Um, because me and Archon have got our next project to discuss. Um, what else? Uh, so, th there's three or four modes you can play, and they're kind of explained in the rule book, but I admit not particularly well. Um, if you buy a team, it is the most financially secure way of doing it um uh, yeah oh my god it's so true slim let me just uh bring you up a website and i'll show you exactly what i mean we should quickly do this last highlight on these leaves and then i can give it my full attention Be three leaves, shouldn't they? There. Go look at him, happy little guy. Right, take you to Griffin Gaming. New pre-orders for Blood Bowl, guys. All at discount. So, when you get into Rumble Slam, the best way to do it is to buy the starter set. Now, I know that's pretty generic across the board, but it is by far the best way. Two player starter box, 38 quid before my discount supplied. So, if you use that discount code down here, you'll get more money off. Now, you need this set because you get the ring, you get the tokens, and you get the dice, and you get the rule book. By the time you take away the price of all those individually, I think you get a team for maybe a tenner each. Probably less than that, probably like eight quid each. So this is the best way to start. These teams are low skill requirement and maximum fun. Now, you can play five on five. Now, that's technically not the law but it is as far as the uh, starter set. So this is a million, and that is a million. You get a currency to spend to build your team. Each team gets one million each. Now, for the most part, what you tend to find is... Where's Rumble Slam? 
There you go. Um, what you tend to find is each of the team box sets add up to a million. I think like nine out of every ten add up to exactly a million. A couple of them are just over. I know the uh, Thoracic Five is a little bit over. <laughs> but it's not big enough to be a problem. So I would recommend picking up a team and then a special character. Now, with Rumble Slam, they do have affiliation. Uh, but as you'll see in today's video, it's really not that important. So, for example, you've got Kaiser's Palace, sorry, Rolling Bones. You've got Forest Souls. You've got Gamora. Uh, you've got Kaiser's Palace. You've got the Feral Den. You're looking for this logo, really. So, to start off with, what I would do is get the start set for the two of you, get all the gear, and then just pick one or two more characters. And, for example, if you're going for the two-player starter set, what you might want to do is pick up the... Where are you? Orkishi. He's a really good one to go with Orcs. Uh, the human team can have Ronnie Salvage or the Statesman. Um, the Greek, really solid character as well. Uh, Triple D, Vitamir, all great choices. Gun's a really good one for the Orcs. Really good one. Uh, so you could do that. Um, if they do not have the same affiliation, you can 100% still use them. Uh, they are still able to be in the same team. One of the things I did in my first video... Uh, pause this to show you. Is I literally lined up all the models I had... And I said to my daughter, okay, these are teams, but you can mix and match. What do you want to play? And she picked out these. She picked the Cursed Axolotl, T-Flex, Sinelian, and a Troll. And she just literally went through all of them, added up the numbers on the cards... And the number you're looking for is on the back of the cards. And she just added them all up. I went with the core box set of the White Knight, which is, not the White Knights, uh, and we have the Knights of the Squared Circle. Sorry, he's called White Knight. That's what threw me off. So I just went with the 1 million core box set. She made a mishmash team. And we had a great game. Uh, it's all on YouTube if you want to pick up the basics. Um, that's currently there now. Um... Uh, but yeah there you go it does have big pillar men energy like if i take it to my instagram but just to give you an idea on some of the variation rumble slam rumble slam excuse me rumble slam rumble slam all start set rumble slam teams Free agents, Rumble Slam team, Rumble Slam, Rumble Slam. You get the idea. Any with a clean base are uh, pretty much Rumble Slam. Uh, I do an awful lot of it. I really enjoy it. I think it's a really well put together game. There are some issues, but they're pretty easy to overcome. Uh, but yeah, I love the game. I think the game is absolutely spectacular. And I think more people need to give it a go. Uh, it's it's very slept on, and uh, I don't think it should be. So, if you order from Griffin Gaming, guys, you get a really good percentage off. So, do check that out. They also do all your pre-orders and your Warhammers and your D&D uh, &D books are coming, stuff like that. If they've not got anything in stock, send them a message, they'll sort you out. Right. We need to keep doing the base.
But yeah, Rumble Slam is the game I'm putting my uh, money in. I don't get a lot of time to actually meet and play games. So picking a game that takes 45 minutes and I can carry in a lunchbox. That's the amazing thing. Jag, how you doing? Olive green. I'm all right. I'm all right. My dad's birthday today, so I'm looking forward to a good dinner tonight. Our, uh, my father, the streamer Troop Dog. There it is. How you doing? I'm plodding on, doing all right, doing all right. Looking forward to having all these done, because it means we'll have done uh, six minis by the end of the day, which is uh, always a nice number. Trying to beat the 482 models I painted last year. Do you know what? You're not far off, Paintly, weirdly. I did look at one of those metal lunchboxes and magnetising them. Mate, I feel you on that. I, I, I feel you on that. Like, um, Not as far, because I've done a lot of dungeon tiles. Uh, but I've done a tavern, a full tavern, and I've done a warlock altar, and I've done like three or four start kits of dungeon tiles. I think since Christmas I'm on about 130, but don't quote me on that. I've kind of lost track. But what I do is I kind of uh, go back and I check every couple of months. But what I do when I do my accounting... I've got a spreadsheet that's like, hey, this is all the money you spent on stream. This is all the bits and bobs you've done. Um, what I tend to do is when I go through that at the bottom, I leave a note of how much I painted that month. So I get a record of how many how many models did I paint? How many were brand work? How many was commission work? How many was for like tournaments and events specific? The reason I do that is at the end of the year, I can then adjust the number of plots. So if, for example, I didn't feel like I did enough commission work, I could go, well, actually, I can paint those models. I just need to rearrange what I'm painting. So as an accountant for the business, but also as a, a kind of slottage for the business, um, it's something I need to, yeah, make column uh, expenditures is uh, pretty insane. It's about to get worse as well. Thank you very much, friend. Uh, where's my slightly shittier brush that I can use for the dry brush? All right, Willow. Put on a show.
Yeah, we've got lots to do today, guys. I do want to get these finished in the next kind of like 45 minutes. Grills won't need that long. Uh, to be fair, the troll won't need much either, little bitey. Then I'm going to switch gear and paint the other squirrel. Which should only take us about an hour in completion. And then uh, we've got to see what time that takes us to. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if anybody can tell me, actually. Is my new YouTube video... Uh, it's called Reef, uh, Lords of the Rings versus Reef Rage's Exhibition Match. Um, it, for anybody who's not a member of the YouTube, the paid YouTube, is it coming up as a premiere or is it just not there? Because I tried to give members a little privilege, but I can't do that at the expense of having a premiere. Because being able to take like 30, 40 people from streaming going straight into watching... Uh, is super helpful for the channel but i do want to make sure my members are well encouraged so i'm wondering can i set it up as a premiere and a uh, members early but i've not found a way of doing that yet so if anybody knows the answer to that question that'd be wonderful but don't worry if not i'm happy for it just to be out in the world i don't expect my rumble slam videos to get massive views uh, really, they're just there to me and my daughter and me and my partner and to help a few people who don't know Rumble Slime. You're not seeing it. Okay, so it's definitely not showing as a premiere then. That's disappointing. Uh, if you've got time today, I can very quickly send you the details. Long story short, charity stream and birthday stream. I've just been so bloody rough recently. Go. Now we just need to add some tufts and do the gray on some of their stone. Let's grab some gray. Tweak the baby cam. All right, buddy. Um, if you go to my Twitter, you'll see uh, a post I've shared about the charity, and it will give you all the information that you should need for an announcement for me. That bit a little bit stony as well as that bit and it should give you all the chat information as well bit of difference in there but yesterday is the day of happy little murder squirrels I do. I want that bag of nutty things. 
happy clusters of joy. It's, um, yeah, they're a Canadian maple treat. And, oh my god, little clusters of joy they are. I get them imported by my lovely friend. And uh, Paintly is an absolute champion, hooking me up with my crack. They broke me. They caused this problem, you know. They were all there like, hey, Mike, got something real nice here. Yeah. Now I can't quit. What they do? Now they got me to uh, watch their stream non-stop. But hey mate, spend some time in here and I might be able to hook you up with my supply. That's it, they ration me. They do, very good. But you should be checking out Paintly anyway. Do a wonderful weekend stream. I managed to get a bit of work done in the background while I watched them. Jesus, have I just done three shout outs? Sorry, my handshakes may have taken over then. Oh, I've got to just click everything. Would you like some beans? I know. It, honestly, I really love the fact you do. This is why your box is going to be so impressive when I send it. Part of my problem now is trying to fit it all in a box. Little baby. What was I doing? Rimming the base. All the lovely beans from Corvus. We do. Tightly packed is always good as well. Certainly for international shipping. I feel awful because I've been meaning to get this box out forever, but you, you, my vision and brand work has taken over my life. Obviously, blades, yourself, uh, the the fact that the commission backlog and the paid commissions have been so just, it's, it's been mental, mate. I think I've never been so busy as I was for December through March. Nice. Long story short, what time, what date, what we were fundraising for. Every hundred dollars is a giveaway on stream. That's basically it. And I may end up painting, if I can get the print sorted, Cat Made Marines. Be mad, mate. Between tax season, uh, Kickstarters, I just there's no rest for the wicked. Um, honestly, the the big one, and th this is what people don't understand, right? They're like, Mike, how can you be low on money yet working so much? Well, what's happened is. All the money, all the stuff scheduled for January got delayed to February. And then half of that got delayed from um, 
uh, from February into March. So in the space of like one or two slots in March, I had six slots filled. So I had no work for part of January and February. So I was doing Patreon redeems. Then suddenly it all comes in March. So I've gone January, February with a massive cut to my pay. Then March, I've got to do three times as much work. Well, Alex Pately and Lucifer. And some of the contracts haven't actually paid me yet. So I'm like, oh, fuck me. Like, this is what happens when you're self-employed, guys. Like, when you're working for other companies and doing other stuff, it's amazing how much things can steamroll backwards. Like, it's, it's quite scary, really. This is something I never really accommodated for. I'm like... You know what? Working for big business. Yeah, they're all going to be on time. Because if they're delayed, it's going to fuck everything else up. No. They're the most delayed of us all. Yeah. Well, this year, I'm changing the way I take money for brand work. Uh, something that's kind of new is my YouTube. So I need to make sure I'm advertising that. Jack, that would be bloody lovely, but please do not make them feel forced. Like, we we love Patreon supporters. But yeah, it, it's it's just a big steamroller. Right, let me have a little peek at what's occurring. Have you guys seen how many orc special characters they're discontinuing from uh, from Warhammer? Captain Badrock's going. Jack, get on in. If they join on the £10 tier, even just for the month, um, it's going to be nine entries into that, plus they get entered into the exclusive Monster, uh, Masters of Moaning Verse plus Twitch. I don't think you're wrong there, Leo. I don't think you're wrong at all. Are they getting rid of Snick Rot as well? Didn't they just re-release him? Snick Rot's still there. I was going to say, that, that would be the, the kick in the dick. Uh, give me one moment. I think it's Masters of the Moaning Verse. I know I should know my own Patreon tiers, but from the back end, I don't get to see them. Sorry, Moan's own exclusive guest. Apologies. Moan's own exclusive guest. It's just the old fine cast. What well, re release them in plastic, I'll be fine. Amber, how do you do? I'm gonna blow dry this guy.
Mate, I don't blame you. I can't even watch WrestleMania anymore. Two nights, like 12 hours on its own. Ah, get fucked. Cannot be doing that. I'm an old man now. You sit me down and watch wrestling, I fall asleep. Honestly, and this is not me uh, shitting on AEW. I do love it. Um, every time I put on AEW, I fall asleep. It's nothing to do with AEW at all. I love AEW. But it's the only time I genuinely sit and relax. So I just fall asleep. Every time. Without fail. I always watch AEW twice a week. I do love those memes that have been coming out, guys. Like, here's how you grow a space marine. These are the meals I'm going to have to eat because I spent all my money on Warhammer. And it's people like growing sprues and putting broken sprues in milk for cereal. They're, they're my new favorite memes. Do the little shrubberies. Yep, this is, this is exactly what lost me four followers yesterday. But GW are bastards and they keep getting rid of all the things we like. Well, stop supporting them then. No, I want to give them more of my money. Okay, we well can't have it both ways. Shut up! Daddy G dubs will love me. I keep giving them money. They're gonna make my day. Everything's better with Daddy G W. Have some good day. How's one self? I lost four followers to that rant yesterday. Little stick on the base. A leaf. There's a stone and a leaf. Freezing. Oh, mate, it's been stormy weather here non stop. Hope you get warmed up soon. I'm doing all right, doing all right. We're uh, being very productive today. It's what we like. I fully understand them discontinuing the Skaven because they are imminent for a release. And I fully understand moving certain factions. But one of the models wasn't even a year old. Like, I, I, like come on. Do I have my little pot of leaves? Because they would be really good for basing. May have to go and dig them out. Let's give this a quick tidy. did see something funny in my local shop though uh the frameworks dnd whiz kids uh Baylor model he's so tiny and so expensive but tiny lazarus it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good day
Let me have a little turn around, see if they're here. I'm a bit concerned about touching it. It could all go crumbling down. One moment. Yeah. Oh my god. Deus Lea needs its own clippers. <laughs> it will blunt them so quick. Right, where were we? These. The leaves. We want to put a good brush away. PVA glue. Always get a few out and then put the lid on because if you spill this, you're never getting them back. being clever and it didn't pay off rest well adventurer thanks for coming on by i always appreciate you yeah just some extra greenery probably help a positive focus PVA glue did not put enough on the palette. there it's a small and fiddly thing but i i think the pop of color and texture is just a bit too nice to say no to
What's the matter, Willow? Why are you squawking? She's just walking around squawking. But her four path, fourth path through pass through in about five minutes. One more leaf, Willow. Are you in the tummy rub position? Do I need to start issuing tummy rubs? Is that what it is? Put on these leaves. Do I not edge this guy's base? Willow, you can keep yelling, but if you yell, it's only going to distract me and take longer for me to do a tummy rub. Willow, what did I say? Right, come on, you. Right. Move these papers. See if we can get the camera on you. Hello. Welcome to Willow's Tummy Rub Sessions. Mate, I'm excited, but not too excited. I think part of the problem is I have my heart broken so many times by video game series and films. Jesus, the exposure. Willow, you look radiant. Look at you. You're glowing on this camera. Can I, can I help you? Can I get on with my work now? Little smug cat. Definitely need to sort out the exposure. Jesus, look at us glowing. Maybe Willow's just got true angelic powers. Right. Entirely true, Noonvale. How do you do, friend? Can I, right, we're doing one tummy rub, like a really in-depth, like, tummy rub, and then I'm moving, because I've got to get jobs done, Willow, right? It's your granddad's birthday today, so tonight nothing's not going to get done. So we need to get everything done today, everything. Jesus, she loves an aggressive tummy rub. All the best, friend. Right. Come on. Back to work. Come on. In your bed. I can't stream with this camera stuck right in my beard, Willow. I don't know what to do. Maybe. Right. We have finished our troll. This is... The... Sorry, I may have nudged the camera arm a little too much then. And we've got the squirrels done. Dire squirrels who eat people. Well, I'm going to have to do this camera. I can't work with it in beard. Come on, in your bed. Come on, in your bed. Right, so these are going to go on the shelf. We'll go to my photo studio later tonight. Then we've got one more squirrel to do. Boy. Friendship, my no friend. They're very hungry, Raph. Very hungry. How do you do, my homie?
squirrel. Right, let me have a quick peek at the reference for this. Do, do, do. Who's this? I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Sorry, it's closing down some lurks. Okay, we are feeling bonnie to. Don't know why I accidentally opened my homebrew notebook. Uh, right. I'm doing well, Raf. Uh, keep it together. How are you? From Muslim. And I'm looking at the executive branch. And I need to do a singlet on this guy. Okay. Now they've done green, which I actually probably going to double down on actually, because I really do like the color scheme they've used, but I'm going to do a slightly different one. You thought it was a rat on a chair. That's Willow, you dirty bitch. Willow, don't listen to her. She says she loves you, but no. They cut deep. They cut deep. Or did you mean my squirrel? Awesome, man. That is good to know. I will warn you, though. Gaming and crafting don't mix. It makes it very difficult for the audience. So just be very aware of that going in. Fernandez, welcome. How do you do? One of my friends, the Brozerka, he's very open about this. He was talking about it on Twitter. Um, which viewers punish you for doing gaming and uh painting because the guys who watch video games quite often unfollow because you're doing it and i don't want to discourage you but you know if i don't tell you ahead of time it will hit you and uh it's kind of like gain a follower, lose a follower for quite a lot. I think since I got Twitch, I did like a month of video games, then I switched permanently to gaming. Sorry, from gaming. The whole body stream of Pestis. Wow. Juvenile, but to be fair, one of them is a wonderful dryad model. The other is a, a thick fairy. There's a raccoon. Mate, I, I feel you on that, Corvus. I feel you so hard. I cannot watch Monster Hunter streams. I start inboxing them and being like, dude, you're hurting me. I've had to walk away. I can't do it. I physically can't do it. Those squirrels are from Dragon Trapper Lodge. If you want to see their range, go into my link tree. I've got a link to them directly there. I just don't understand how people play Monster Hunter any other way than the way I play. And that's good to hear. That halfling army is an insane value. Just insane. Tronza, good luck. Boston. Uh, so this is the team we're painting today, guys. Uh, we're doing what I've called Buster Nut. I can't remember his actual name. We've already done the fairy. I think next we'll end up doing the raccoon.
Sick. Dice Gobbler. That's what he's called. So what he does is he stores bonus dice and then he can hand them off and add them to players' rolls as well as jumping and doing damage for basically free. Times the turnbuckle once per round for zero AP and he can hit six squares, which is over half the ring, uh, for two damage with three coppers. Not a bad character. Not a lot of health, though. Easily pinned. Out of line! Fulton Marshmallow Fluffy Duck the third, indeed. We added to any team. I, I think we need to uh, we need to convince the team at TT Combat to rename him Buster Nut. The idea is he's adding extra dice to somebody's efforts. So they're busting a nut to, to go above and beyond. So I think calling him Buster Nut would be a great name. Yes, but unfortunately, the rule for them states they only count as turnbuckles for somebody with a likened rule. Uh, I can't remember the name of the exact rule, but it's a very Spanishy word. Buster Canut. Yeah, I'll be down for that. That's what I, he should be called, Buster Nut. I'm sorry, like I, I, that's the name he is now dedicated to. Uh, what am I looking for? Coal Black. Hobgoblin Blue, Dungeon Grey, Coal Black. Uh, Tronza, just share really boring information and try and sound excited about it. Then they'll start avoiding you. Just like talk about like the Great Eastern Railway or something. Just like really passionate. Oh my god, was it you who taught the entire Warhammer community? Well played, lad. And you got to the Magic and the Yu-Gi-Oh community. Jesus, you're powerful. Tinso de Canedo. There you go. Horrible butchering of Spanish. Jesus, I fear how powerful you are, Tronzo. You, like, you, you spread the good word better than Jesus. Thank you for subscribing to OnlyFans. Laban! Pisces asked me, should that squirrel be called Eric the Eichhörnchen as he is eating a German nut? Why not call it Eric the Eichhörnchen? Heck, with that taste in nuts, the squirrel's practically begging for a title with international flair. But let's be honest, no matter how fancy Eric's nuts are, they won't last as long as a Ford truck built to conquer he any terrain loves these trucks. and nutty adventures. Ford, go further. How is Lemon, my homie? So Tangier lets people use different TTSs and invade the stream with uh, little videos and gifts. Uh, Paintly has become quite the abuser. Oh, good luck, Tia Tronza. Oh, 
Honestly, like, can you imagine how much the Pokemon company would owe me? Imagine how much TT combat. Well, nope, nope, nope. Can't go down that road. It's fantastic, but you do need to be aware of its limitation. Like, it does piss off some people. Which is a kind of a weird thing, but... Hey. Oh, lordy! Hello, Hobby Corner, how do you do? We're on a hype train, people! No. Not us! Suey we! I don't like this. This, this is what I don't like. Sensory, hello. You will be this voice. Yeah, yeah. You see, that can fuck off. That is exactly the level of fuck off I want it to fuck off to. Sensory, hello, my friend. Thank you very much. How do you do? And Hobby Corner, are you well? What have you been up to? Shut up, Lazarus. Don't encourage it. Got a little green where I didn't want it. I need to collect that before we move on. Guys, as always, the first stop of the hype train is level three, and that is a yogurt for Willow. She's not had one in two weeks, would you believe it? You've been working? Ah, oh, she made work during a holiday, man. It, it just makes me spiteful. Yeah, nice choice. You have chosen wisely. Pretty cool. Fun fact, Mike Moans cannot lick his own eyebrows, but has been practicing licking other people's eyebrows on public transportation. How did you know? Mate, doing a business from home, genuine, hand on heart, feel you. I've been trying to do it now, and it is killing me. Like, straight up killing me. I've not seen my armchair in about eight weeks. It's covered in empty cardboard boxes, ready to fill with orders. It's horrific. Call this a guy. Yeah, parceling is is the worst. Like that is what I needed to hire somebody for. The problem is. Nobody knows what I do as well as me. So me having somebody else do it. Like, let's say I bring my partner in to do it, right? Where's the things Mike likes? Oh, no. Anne Hathaway. Space Mawines. James Cowden. The Amberwow. Quacks. Wild Fat Cheese. Pierce's fan fiction of Andre the Giant getting pinned by Santino. Awa Awa. Uwu. And all the made outfits and kitty eels. Suwi. Nya. I'm going to want this on record. That is the worst thing that's ever happened to me on stream. Just that voice. That list. A lorry could break into my house through this wall and kill me. And I would still say that that was worse. Shut up, Luna, you're encouraging them. It is right up there with 
bum worms. It's the things I'd rather go for it. Yeah, yeah, rub it in. Yep. Bum worms on a string. Bum worms on a string. In fact, tying anal beads to the back of a motorcycle while they are mid in my anus. And the motorcycle rapidly retreats from the scene like a dad dropping a fart. That would be less painful. Well, here's the thing, right? Exactly, just like a Beyblade. Um, I was looking at training it to use my voice so you could have fun. But then I was thinking, oh, hang on, people have already abused my footage before, like, maliciously. And I just don't want to give wankers that ammunition again. You see, this, this is good energy. We love this energy. It asked me, hey, knick knack, patty whack. When Mike moans licks strangers' eyebrows on the bus, is it a power move or is it to savor the crunchy eyebrow dandruff? Oh, painterly git, it's a cosmic dance of dominance and a quest for the forbidden seasoning. Imagine each eyebrow a library of untold secrets, flavors wow. of the universe unknown to mere mortals. Mike moans in their infinite wisdom, seeks the crunch, not of dandruff, but of the crystallized essence of human experience. It's a power that could be a thing. Move. A statement that they are the ultimate connoisseur of life's uncharted good textures. Very good soup. That math. I do like Esso Cat. Esso Cat has my heart. What did I put? All black. Mix my ivory in. So that was a fing lie. Wow. You know I don't like that. Um, I've got the elastic coming today. I'm thinking uh, black, orange, black. Of course you would. Right, the dice have white logos. So I need to put white uh, in the Judah. No, not drop zone, you pleb. Oh, Jesus, I genuinely thought that the Rumble Slam ring didn't have ropes. It was just a shadow of the ropes. Yeah, black, orange, black. I'm thinking I've got the elastic coming today.
Right, we need to bright white. Uh, honestly, you are by far the uh, senior of this product. Right, that's that. Very quickly need to check something. Ah, my woman is alive. She's just slept all day. Right. Need to get this right. So if one need to balance the top sides. Make sure I've got the right dice on each surface. Pesis asked me, best lyrics, see your girl in the park. That girl is a Uckers. When the ting went quack, 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 oh you may have done. God. In the natural world, communication takes many forms, from the complex songs of whales to the colourful displays of peacocks. The lyrics you've shared, while perhaps baffling to the uninitiated, are akin to the distinctive call of a bird, designed to catch attention in the vast forest of human culture. It captures a moment as effectively as any animal's call captures its essence. Well, I think he just called you an attention seeker. No, Sarah just likes to hibernate. If there's anything Sarah likes, it's the smell of fresh baby, my sweet hams, and sleep. Hey, Griffin, how do you do? Just working on those uh, executive branch I got from you. Vacuum work now. Good, good. Don't worry about rushing to do me. I'm sure you've got a million people to catch up on. Got a uh, YouTube video which you uh, feature featuring going live at 3.30 today. I know. My baby seal skin slippers, painfully. They really have just turned nasty. You keep asking me, Mike, how did you have the time to club baby seals? Easily. I take one baby seal, club the second baby seal, and I've clubbed two baby seals. not going to paint stars on every edge They're, no <laughs> just just no i'm just going to do the forward facing ones there is no reason for me to do more than that saying that that one's quite visible oh, i'll probably do one on that got it lied to myself of course Need to dull down the eye a little bit. One of them looks much more wired than the other. Uh, but yeah, guys, on YouTube tonight, I say tonight, in about two hours, three hours, uh, we have a brand new video going live. It is a game of Rumble Slam. And uh, I hopefully you enjoy it. I'd have lied, you, you witch.
Cup of tea, how you doing? Ah, time zones. Mate, it, it is so rough playing with my daughter because all she does is mock me. Right, fine. You peer pressured me into doing it. I put it badly. Hey, Blades, how you doing? That sounds like somebody who would be jerking. Mate, I cannot stress this. For so many years, I was a big scary man that people wouldn't say boo to. Now I've got a 10 year old who called me a fat slut the other day. And the worst part is they weren't wrong. Okay, that emote is amazing, Copper. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it the best? Having I mean, children? Let's not deny it. Both parts are true, Slim. Like, I'm plus size, beyond plus size. I'm, I'm actually squared size now. You, you have to kind of square me instead of just uh, plus sizing. I'm very dense, actually. Very dense. At least Sarah keeps telling me that. Oh, here's the thing. She's really got into playing Fortnite because she loves the Lego mode, which everybody should try, by the way. Um, and she was going, well, you know, we lost because of you, you noob. And it's like, Darling, I've got nine eliminations. Where are yours? She goes, well, you lost because you died first. Yes. And where are you, Rebecca? Oh, I'm emoting, dancing with the NPC. Dylan Moran is fantastic. I, I really do love Dylan Moran. One of the best stand-up and one of the best writers Kind of sad to me we don't get a lot of him at the moment. Right, I'll just put paint on the palette. There it is. Called you a knob end. What a word. Can you imagine that from a small child's mouth? Dad? Yes, darling. Yes, princess. Yes, sausage. You're a knob end. I would break. I wouldn't even be able to tell him off. I would just be so just amused by it and the, the big problem is i think children learn as they get older as long as they're funny we're not going to tell them off and the problem is we can't hold back our laughter some days Not to justify calling anyone a knob end, but knob end is great. Oh, Diglett. Yeah. Oh, God, she's done it. She's done it. Um, There's a thing that Sarah does where she tells me off. Uh, and it invokes a response in me where it, it's like I talk about Willow and it's like I imagine Willow has a voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Might be coffee o'clock soon, guys. 
Uh, and uh, uh, it's little things like going, look, it's all by the good you having a nap, fat man, but I think it's time you fed me. Things like that. And I don't need Rebecca repeating it back at me. But it's happened. One of my favourite insults, which blew Rebecca's mind, was I called somebody a two-man tent. And she was like, why did you call them that? And it's like, do you realise how confused they are right now? Juju, how do you do do? I still think one of my all-time favourite insults for ease of use and for Mank Flair is either Bellend or Noblord. Plodding on, friend. Plodding on. We've been doing a lot of squirrels today. Squirrel number six. Like there's a conversation in today's YouTube video where Rebecca is just straight up savage. Um, I misspeak once on this video going up today. Hey Luke, how you do? Um, and I misspeak once. She rinses me for the next hour. Like, this child is a savage. This is the same child who has issues with another child at school. Who, they're the knobhead. Like, genuinely, this other child's an absolute raging knobhead. With a raging knobhead dad. And a raging knobhead mum. And a raging knobhead, like, whole collective, anyway. They're basically a bouquet of knobheads, right? And this child, who will absolutely rinse me won't say boo to them and it's just like why have you got the confidence to do that with me and not use that power to shut down other people like come on your wit's going to be your best weapon in life like come on do it is it the cuck chair lazarus to be fair yes willow does uh intimidate said child a little too much I see Paintley's talking about our government. Leo. Can't be filtered out of any chat. Sorry, hang on. What if I missed? Your go-to day... Your, my go-to these days is leak. Leo, do go forth, rest well. Sorry, I tried to keep up with chat. Oh. I like... Can't be filtered out of chat. Oh, the... Sorry, you use the insult leak. Nobody's filtering it. Sorry, dyslexia brain. Yeah, maybe quitting rugby at that time was for the best. Ironics, how you doing? Oh, 
I think that's Buster Nut Bun. Sugarfoot, that's something. I made somebody rage quit a Discord server by calling them a pizza cutter because they were all edge and no point. Well, there's a whole team of them. Also, Willow has seen squirrels in the garden. He is not a fan. Not a fan. Oh, not too much today, Luke. Just trying to keep up on everything, you know. Mate, they they did not like it. To the, to the point, they inboxed the Discord server owner. Bear in mind, I'm a moderator. Uh, they inboxed them with their Batman voice going, He's disrespected me! I find him to be arrogant! Lep, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, my friend. Pretty good. Try to get uh, all my ducks in a row for the month. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's rustling a lot of jimmies, trying to keep everything in order. Uh, we'd be very productive. Like, we're just uh, about to finish busting up. Mm. Only arrogant if you don't back it up. Right, need a base for Buster Nut. You know what I need to do? Actually start tight. Because I have Rumble Slam crawled all over this deck. Like, genuinely. Right. Look, I'm organised. Oh, Lep, I completely forgot to do the Meganium raid. It, it's a squirrel. I'll be honest with you, I, I think I'm done. I, like, I have no motivation to go back to it. Like... That it, it it's reached the end of its lifespan. Unless they bring out some like amazing new one of a kind legendary, I th I think I'm going to leave it. I don't need a little badge on a monster I'm not using when I can get the shiny version, you know. Right. Get our act together, people. Oh, um, Petron. These are all bases, yeah. It would, wouldn't it, Baron? We spend so much time treading water. These are the clear bases for Rumble Slam. 
The only colouring on them is a blue film that protects them during the laser cutting. Right, that's the one I peeled the film off. Don't want to lose that. Uh, Petrov is disgusting in double battles. Use poison gas, poison both of the enemy. Okay, now they're both confused. What? They do, yes. Uh, let me get you a link. They do square and they do round. So there's the squares. And there the round. Not in this game, but if anybody's not using them for uh, Rumble Slam, by like Armada or something. You know, might be worth something. Square are significantly better for Rumble Slam. I yeah, don't blame you, it's pretty shit to be fair. You go, that's bust a nut. Bizarre. Um, well, we've just finished bust a nut, which is a member of the executive branch Rumble Slam team. That means we've done the thick fairy. Who I really wish I could get in camera better. Look at her. Look at that ass, though. If she backed up onto you, you would be the happiest casualty in the world. Like, Jesus. I would, I would die not only happy, but rigor mortis would be in before I dropped to the floor. Jesus Christ. Where do I get two of these? I want them to crush me like two walls in Lara Croft. Anyway. So yeah, uh, and that's Buster Nut, who uh, is one of the other members of the five in the team. So we've got the Dryad, the Amazon and the Raccoon left to do. I uh, do all the side stuff before you hand in mixed game stuff. But yeah, fun is fun. So Rebecca really wants to play the fairy team. So I, I said I'd try and get them done next. No worries at all, friend. Will do, Baron. Ah, uh, have fun for work. Mark Garden Gnome, thank you very much.
Nas, how you doing, champ? Here you go. Yeah, wish I could get the face in focus and the body, but it's a bit nightmarish. I think I might have to go up a bit. It'd be a nightmare to photo this. There you go. Do my hands shake naturally, can't you? I didn't realise it, but I based her off Steve's girlfriend in American Dad. Oh, she's best. She's just lovely. I'll tell you what, guys. This is a good time for me to take my beer right back so I can have a little stretch. My knees are really hurting. Uh, so what we'll do is if you've got anything to show off today, pop it in the Discord now. I will be back in all, just two minutes, guys. It's a stretch of pee. May make a tidy coffee, just an espresso. Uh, and we'll meet back and we'll do show and tell in but a moment. Nas, are you well today, my homie? You've got finally a day off to enjoy some streams. Excellent. Uh, I'm doing really well. Uh, we've been very productive. We finished six, seven models today. Uh, and I think we're going to start on this little Bandito Raccoon next. Because we've got two hours. He's a nice, easy model to do. Yeah, we don't fuck about here in the moon zone. And then tomorrow, we're going to build a wrestling ring. We've already built it. I've sanded it. I've primed it. I've sealed it. I've done everything else. We just need to paint it. Uh, send me a whip because I do need to get it verified by the owner. It'd be nice to kind of flex. You know, they've done me some solid. It'd be nice to uh, throw them some solid. Mate, get in the Discord. Always have to show off. Back in a moment, guys. Bladder won't wait.
Whenever I turn my back, it's always those two up to something. Welcome back, everyone. We're going to go into show and tell, starting with Paintly Git, who's got a wonderful spider tank on the go. Yes, that green is so popping. Look at that. See it from space. Bloody love it. Eyes on point. Fangs on point. Willow says on point. With a wah. Look at that guy, it's bloody beautiful. We got Firehawk doing some magnetizing of the uh, Dungeons and Lasers airship. What a product this is. Bloody lovely. Bloody lovely. Hopefully, it is strong enough and holds its own weight. Oh, even the little engine room. Oh, fantastic. Really can't wait to see that. I can't wait to get mine done. Noah with the lovely... Are these Malifaux? Love the face sculpt on that. Bloody lovely. Facing, doing them real solid. Oh, love the serpentine dragon. No worries, nerd. Just one man and his turtle living their best life. Brad with their airship, very nearly done. Look at that. Whoa. I do hope with Deus Slayer um, we get more of the cannon trap mount. If not, I'll be using some of my spare bits from airships to hurt them. And that is it for today, guys, except Nerd Harlot snuck in with one hell of a mustache. Ooh. Behold, dear God, they call him the Tashmaster. This is a privateer press bust that nerd's been working on. Bloody lovely. Just miss me. Oh. Yes, yes, it is. There you go. Lovely beans. Uh, Willow, please stop trying to murder daddy's hand. Come on, play the game. Right, where were we? Yes, raccoons. 
Honestly, we've got so many talented people. It is uh, getting a bit, a bit silly just how many we got. You know, 800 members were in the Discord last night. I, mean, I don't know how much the number is now, but, that, you know, people obviously leave. But, uh, yeah, we had 800 members. Oh, no, no, we lost one. 799. Willow. Willow. Willamina. Willamina. Will you let Daddy work on his trash panda? Right, I do feel I need to change the stream title because we are no longer doing murder squirrels. Uh, I do have one more thing to show you as well. But I just want to make sure I've got my windows realigned. Yeah, always the way. Every time you say an era number, somebody unfollows. The big curse of Twitch. Every time you announce you're near a follower goal, somebody unfollows. Uh, I don't know if Griffin Gaming's still here today, uh, but Adeline... And totally not myself, because I do fuck all. I'm, I'm literally just putting my thumbs up to ads, who's doing all the work. Uh, but we are building a Rumble Slam ring, ring themed for Griffin Gaming. Uh, because if we're turning up to GriffCon and we're doing a meet, we need to rep. So uh, we're, we're looking at bringing Griffin Gaming Pro Wrestling, GGPW, uh, to life with a dedicated ring, uh, which will be printed uh, in neoprene, hopefully. We're still trying to find the best way to do it. Uh, and uh, we're going to have these to represent uh, Griffin Gaming for events. So there you go. Just something to uh, pickle thy pickle. So we're going with the orange and black scheme, making sure that it's all... Uh, on brand. Still very much a whip. Yeah, only one rope. Yeah. Still going. So I'm building the three dimensional ring, and then this can sit on top of it. So we still get the nice neoprene texture when we play. And you don't have to hear dice going crash, crash, crash over the wood. Uh, the MDF ring, if you ever roll dice over it, Jesus Christ, it's like being at a stomp concert. So there you go. Little side project Adeline's uh, been pulling. Right, Willow, can I have my arm back? Well, the problem is, Corvus, it means needing two cameras. And because my setup currently for recording rumble slam is one willow what the fuck is this just demanding tummy rubs again right out loud um i may be able to do it if i could figure out how to wire up my phone or try the webcam to the laptop uh, i'm not happy with my recording rig the the last video of Rumble Slam is better quality than this video of Rumble Slam. Uh, because the camera angle had to be different because we had three people at the table. And because it's a mobile phone, it's trying to auto adjust and all these other things. So I still need to kind of learn. A big problem we had was the. Uh, I get Griff's permission and make a neoprene mat that goes over the wood out of the bin. Yeah, we did. We did. We've, we've got everything we need to do with this. And uh, I'll be sending a few their way, Corvus. Don't worry.
Uh, but yeah, the uh, the mobile rig is bloody wonderful when it works, but there's so many variables. So still got a little bit to work out. Uh, the problem is, I I've actually financially broken myself trying to be a YouTuber. Um, I made some very, very grave errors in purchases. Um, the wireless mics I got, fucking useless. Uh, the Fayou camera, really good for events, really good for kind of like uh, personal vlogs and stuff like that, doing shorts, doing whatever, will not record a game. Uh, because it's got a minimum focal reach of three feet. And it says nowhere about that in all of their branding or all of their reviews. So while on paper it should have done the job, it doesn't do the job. So my very expensive, very cool gadget doesn't actually do what it needed to do. Um, my top-down camera rig is by far the best investment. Right, knee pads and boots with just a little bit of fur. There you go. Um, it's quite hard to see while it's all black, but we'll make it work. But yeah, um, I'm really trying to do some uh, major adjustments. Uh, I tried using this camera. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't record in 1080p. Um, the, <laughs> give me an idea. The video I'm posting, well, which is posted and will be live for non-members at 3.30 today, was recorded on the same mobile phone and the same setup that did the uh, tavern video. You wouldn't believe it. It did not deliver the same quality. Go, yeah, happy little trash panda. What could we do at the same time? Because this is going to take a while to dry. Uh, but yeah, I'm really trying to just get everything ducks in a row. It took me, I think in the end, it was 17 hours to edit the video because I had to manually relight and break up a lot of frames. It was just appalling. Hello, okay, how we do? It was a lot. I like. I can't explain just how much it was. Uh, I spent six nights non-stop editing, and it was all little things like removing breaths, making sure the audio levels are semi-balanced, uh, making sure that the um, the it basically keeps bouncing between cold and warm. Just hell on earth, mate. Hell on earth. But it's published now, and uh, it's more than acceptable, I'd say. Definitely fun. An hour of my partner and my daughter rinsing me. So if you are a YouTube member, do check that out now. If you are not, it is live at, as soon as the stream is done, 3.30. And you'll find it just there. If you'd be so kind as to subscribe to YouTube, we are nearly fully partnered. We just need like 145 more subs. Oh, about her. How, how, how did it end up? Thank you. Being a ball ache, but... Uh, it's a big load off my shoulders to say it's done. It means I can get back to editing some shorts, which I want to get done. 
and it means I can get back to uh, my house jobs and 3D printing jobs. Because at the moment, I'm, I'm just stuck in mental limbo. So this is the dryad that comes with the executive branch. We will be going for a very poison ivy colouring on this, but oh, slowly walking onto the mat halfway through a class, slow as a sloth, a muscle relaxes because he realised I really wasn't going to let him do what he wanted, and life was going to suck if he kept digging his feet in. Respect. Mama Bear got to do what Mama Bear got to do, but respect. I remember being 14 years old thinking I own the world and going out to play rugby with a fractured collarbone and I didn't tell anyone, didn't tell my coach. Uh, wasn't the smartest being. Uh, I basically taped my arm to my chest and played one-armed. Uh, the second I got onto the pitch, they pulled me off. And they were like, Mike, what the fuck are you playing at? Like... But I'm better one-armed than most people are with two. And he's there like, you will shatter your collarbone. Get off the pitch. And it's like, but we drove three hours to get here. And I managed to dress myself. Mike, fuck off. <laughs> Yep, yep, that, that'd be the way. <laughs> Mom, I've come to reassess my decision. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if children were reasonable? Okay, I may have muted the mic a little too long. 
I will open it tomorrow if it comes while you're not here, mate. Don't worry. Definitely not a reason. I was just speaking to myself, apparently. Um, there's a little coin here. I didn't know what it was, but I'm assuming it's like a button or a poker chip. I'm assuming it's something that's like fallen off his bag. But yeah, this is the character we're painting now. I think he's hilarious. I love him. Right. Uh, Black Earth can go back. Get this out. All right, my paint book come out. There's not a lot left. I'm just milking it like a dairy cow at this point. There you go. Refuse to spend money on paint. I no refuse. Oh. Knock at the door. That's what I've got. about that my dad's birthday today he's got a lot of things arriving it would be just so apt wouldn't it jack carbon fantastic are you well friend i've got my first DMing game in forever on my birthday, which is week on Sunday. Well, yeah, Papa Moans is uh, celebrating his birthday today. The oath of throwing it back, for example. Well, mine's not that much of a mystery. Mine's nine months after my mother's birthday. Dad clearly forgot to pick up flowers, didn't he? Oh, nice. Yeah, I've heard of that one bouncing around. I've not really studied it myself, but I have heard of it. All that nude sleeping in the summer. Is that you going, I didn't have the memo. <laughs> See, quite a lot of our lot, um, we have birthdays in the summer because UK winters are so cold. Pete Jack gets it. 
Uh, Carmen, if you can post it in the Discord under tabletop and roleplay, I know there'll be a lot of people who'll want to see that. Okay, I, I know about the garlic bread. That's pretty fantastic. I've not seen the Kamen Rider one. Now for mine worms, thank you very much. Yep, yeah, garlic bread clerics, they're a thing. What's really funny about them is quite a lot of them are more balanced than the critical role ones that they brought out. The critical role subclasses, some of them are just unplayably broken. There are people, mainly content creators on YouTube, who do reviews of like the Indie Beyond's top 10 and bottom 10 homebrew classes. They are pretty fun to watch. Bottom! <laughs> How do you do, friend? Not a cult, right? Just bringing paints. I'm doing alright, mate. Holding it together. Mm. We've been very productive today. We're just painting trash pandas at the moment. I think it's a fair bit of work, but you know, just started. We've been painting squirrels. Uh, we've done a troll, little bitey fella. Uh, I'm doing a dryad, got them on the go. Mate, that Book of Spirits Kickstarter, man. Like, Jesus. They could easily have my money if I had money. The big problem I've got at the moment is I've just gone through caves. That's so English. Uh, yeah, I managed to get the video published. But Jesus, she added like three hours to my work time. Right, I think I want to do like bright popping blue eyes on this guy or give him like weirdly human eyes. Try the human eyes. Let's see how that looks. But yeah, bloody monster. It was pretty nice jamming to your uh, Need for Speed jams. Been a long time since I've uh, seen that game be played. Tabletop and role play, please.
Wow. One eye will go down really well, the other will not. Have I shown you how to do uh, the built-in shout-out part as well, Kate? You know, the official blah, blah, blah. Have I shown you that one? But also, custom commands are amazing. We love them. Let me show you, because I can show you my screen. Or something really weird in the uh, the sidebar commands. Uh, shout out! Right, we'll have a look at this guy because we did him just the other day. Right, Kate, eyes up. This goes to all streamers, by the way. Custom shout outs. Thank you, Carmen. Send the streamer. Check out my. You checked out. Hang on. You checked out my Honkasaurus Rex 6 plus save yet? Seen them live here, YouTube here, Instagram there. But then if you go to Twitch, which is on this drop down menu, Twitch, and then put type shout, sorry, send shout out, then put in their username exactly as they appear, save it all as one command. You can then click that button and it will build it all in to one shout out with the uh, the built in operation. So you don't even have to do much more work, Kate. It's just such a nice little like top up for streamers to be able to do. There you go. Also, you should all check out my Honkasaurus. Yes, such an easy little change to make, yet it means the world. I do, Carbon. We've got new content coming today. There you go. Right. As much as I'd like to paint this as a gimp mask, it is a luchador mask. So we need to paint it as such. Right, we've got a barter in the chat, so let's do purple. Actually, no, I have to do pink because uh, my luchadors are all in pink. All right. I'll do uh, the ones in the bag, a different colour. I'll do them purple, but the, the main one has to be pink. There's my luchadors are pink. Uh, but yeah, we've got brand new YouTube content going up at 3.30 today. Uh, me in the world, if people could at least leave a lurk to watch it uh my daughter is a big part of this one my partner is as well and if you just want to see them bully me then it's uh definitely the one to see absolutely rinse me also willow uh is a very prominent part we do need more gimp masks It, honestly, mate, it's just abuse. Like, that's the stuff I can leave in. I know some of you have seen some of the... Uh, what's the word? Bloopers. That was quite the experience. 
Mike, you're not allowed to make a joke about raw dogging. Okay. Fine. Um, I'm thinking about putting them up on there, but it's a completely different edit. So I want to make sure. Hey, Carden, welcome in. Having you twice. That's not where I meant to put the brown. It's on this bag. Um, what was I braining? I had a brain. It, it left me. Um, hey, uh, I've read your message. I understand the premise. I double down and agree with that. And I'll also add, they're a massive bell end. I'm pretty long in the tooth when it comes to Twitch. That was one of the earliest lessons. Just uh, ungrateful people doing ungrateful things. I have basically no time. Uh, something that people need to realise about being on Twitch is word spreads fucking quick. And your reputation is everything. If you want to grow on Twitch, the number one thing you need to be good at is raiding. Both sides, you need to be appreciative when you get them, and you need to be good at sending raids. That's all I'm going to say. I can't stand. little trick I learned from a senior streamer is to stop asking people where you want to raid. Uh, yeah, I'm right fucked. Uh, I, I don't think there'll be a day where I'm alive and Deus Leia is fully built. Uh, my eyes were bigger than my belly when it came to Deus Leia. I may have too many minis and I've already ordered a second set of the super stretch goals. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I've painted the owl bear, and I've primed the fire drake, uh, and I'm priming the yetis tonight. It does feel amazing. The good thing with caves is I went with pre-painted, so I don't feel so bad. To be honest with you, I probably wouldn't have gone pre-painted had I not got Deus Leia. Technically, it's got paint on it, if that helps you for sleep at night. I'm just really excited to watch Bad Patch tonight. I need to get a nap in first or I will fall asleep. Yeah, that Kathy, she's running amok. Somebody must have told her she's overreacting. Or to smile more.
Uh, I can ask in the Discord if you prefer, but what people opinion about spray versus paint on primer? 100% go for spray. Jag, welcome in. How do you do today? Unfortunately, because we can only moderate English, we can only allow English. I do apologize for that, but welcome in. It's just to keep the bots happy because we get all sorts of trouble. How are you today, Jag? Yay, there's two of you. There's Jack Green Learn 75. And then there's Jag Angel. Or it's probably Jag Green Learn. I don't know. Dyslexia is not fun for that. But no, welcome in. I do apologize. Uh, because of the rules of Twitch, uh, it's a really annoying thing where you basically are limited in your moderation. Then Twitch tells you you're not moderating properly. Then you get in trouble. It's so stupid, and we've had to be very careful with it because we got a ban last month, or February. Time is moving weird, and I don't like it. Uh, smoke. Do you think we need a command for that, Abata? It should be in there, is it not? Well, $500 can get fucked. Oh, there's thirty percent off at salute. Damn it. Uh Dungeons and Lasers guys are offering thirty-three percent off products at salute. God damn it. Yeah, you do. You harass them lovingly. Bring them baked goods. I heard a rumour that Dungeons and Lasers will treat you very, very nicely, Arcod Studio, if you bring them a pastry. Just a rumour, but, you know, doesn't hurt to test. That's the wrong brush. <laughs> oh, I think they probably want to live that down, mate. Not going to lie. 
I'd, I'd maybe give him the week off. <laughs> but they do. We just need them to do a duck dragon. I was. I'd love to have saved that clip just for like my special bank. The saying that that the day I made him snap, I was out, coiled like a spring. I've been waiting to crack them up on stream. Lovely. That's the trunks. Gonna do the elbow pads and the knee pads. Yeah, feel free. Thank you for asking. Permission has been granted. I know you would. All them Muppets coming your way. Yes, do remember to look after your bottoms and make sure they're hydrated. Uh, Kate, we're not playing tonight, are we? to pick out these little raccoon fingers. To do some marking on the face. So let's have a little look for Rick markings. To water down some black and glaze that in. 
Yeah, where's my Amazon package? It'll be here by 12. Arriving between three and five. Well, that's my new microphone. Oh, need to upload my uh, new throne wish list as well with all the new releases. Yeah. Um, question, and I know this might not be the particularly helpful one. The D and D deck of many things, right? They released a shit and shoddy version of uh the collector's box set, right? Um and have they ever actually updated it? Does anybody know? Do they? Good to know. So if I ordered one from Amazon, I could, in theory, return it and go, no, no, I want the newer ones if I got the shit ones. Because I wasn't listening to bro. Fucking Amazon. I would order them from my local hobby shops, but like, you should shop local. I 100% believe you should. But the rate that they sell them to shops, they're not making money off them. And I'm paying like 30, 40 quid more than I have. And I don't really want to buy it. The annoying thing for me is I want to finish my 5e collection and drop it for when they bring in the new edition. And I don't want to have missing bits. But my local store is a Forbidden Planet and I don't want to give them money because they have such shit customer service. If I order it from somewhere like Griffin Gaming, the weight of posting it is, is like 20 quid posting. This is my problem. Like, I own every book. Cheers, Ad. I own every book of 5th edition, with the exception of Tyranny of Dragons and Rise of Tiamat, because I got the newer edition. Um, I also don't own Acquisitions Incorporated, Yawning Portal, Big Bees Giants, and there's one more. I think it's in my Amazon wish list. I can't remember what it is. Uh, but by God. Yo, that hello. How do you do? Uh, yeah, they're, they're just absolutely terrible. Like, and they're only there to say I've got a complete set of five ebooks. Most of the books I use are not GW, uh, not GW, not D and D books. Legendary Dragons is uh, third party. My Critical Role book is technically third party. Good to hear, friendo. Good to hear. 
need to put some brush in this. Now, obviously, wizards have gone down a path I'm not going to follow. Uh, I have very little inspiration for their current and future line. I'm literally only buying these to finish the collection. Because when me and Sarah move in, I want a shelf of all my TTRPG books along the bottom, all my miniatures in glass cabinets above. Put a little more contrast in this. Not enough that it looks like the markings, but enough that it stands out. And it kind of hides a little bit of the dry brushing. I can need it for all the craft stuff. Jesus. You think I've got minis? Have you seen how much crafts that woman hoards? I already have two storage containers that I pay through the nose for. Like, if I move my Deus layer there, I need a third. That's the wrong button. Uh, funnily enough, yes. Sarah would love to run a hobby cafe. But unfortunately, because of the way the UK has gone. No. <laughs> right, guys, I see what you're doing here. You're hitting me with reality. Uh, no, thank you. No realities, please. I've had enough of reality. I reject it. The big part of the problem I've got is I can't use my wardrobe at the moment because I'm damp getting in the house. And my clothes are just everywhere. And because my clothes are everywhere, I've got nowhere to put my books as well. Uh, Karen Evans and Guns Gnome, thank you very much. Easier to live in denial, isn't it, Mooncake? Bring back a little more brightness in the snoot. on the chin and just a few whiskers to sell the dark coat highlight um it would die in my town all we have is coffee shops if i go into the city we have three or four gaming centers so there's no need for me uh, yeah Yes, uh, I would love a hobby cat cafe. Want to come in and play board games and have them all knocked over? Come this way. We were playing Jenga, and then this cat.
No, you can't. You, 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 trust me, me and you know this. Uh, this year for me is the make or break year. So uh, I'm a bit worrying now. It's, it's the same for everyone. Like, I know that sounds dismissive, but Jesus Christ. I've never seen my country so on the brink of implosion. Yeah, it's a horrible trail. If A doesn't have money, they can't pay B, and then B can't pay C, and then C can't pay D. And then it just goes back. You know, gone are the days of picking up Starbucks on the way to work. Of all the things it makes me mad to pay for, Mooncake, replacing a wheelie bin, nothing makes me more fucking angry. Out of all the petty qualms of life, that's one of the big ones. Having to pay to replace a wheelie bin that some fucker stole They may not have even stolen it, it might have literally just been the wind. Yeah! They do! They do! Yeah! The bloody bin bandits! Right, let's do a massacre of Arta. Oh lordy, it's those lovely bunnies from the brick house. Hello, hello. How do, friends? How do? Are you well? I thought it was a bag of lucha masks they're not they're counters and pennies aren't they how you doing lad how is your stream guys tell me all your secrets are you well Paz, how you doing gorgeous Bro, mate, that is a relatable tragedy. Uh, I took a bunch of models to be primed just the other day, dropped them all, then spent the day repairing them all. It's just like, not only did I break the models I worked on, I lost another day's work fixing them. Isn't it the best? I think I broke my weapon about six years into my relationship. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hey, my name. Mike permitted the term bundling. Well, it'd be weird to block that if we have glory holes enabled.
Uh, but yeah, welcome in, guys. My name is Mike Moans. I paint minis and do weird things on the internet. Um, I'm painting a raccoon that steals people's luchador masks. Any questions? <laughs> Genuinely, that's just the way it goes. We, we just paint dumb things that we enjoy. Like, you know, we painted an army of squirrels this morning. Why? The glory of murder. Oh, you mean my side tickler? Yes, he gets well treated. Yeah, have you got pictures of what you've done today, friend? In what? I'm picking out some uh, gold. It, it basically is. So they come with a druid, who is basically going to be Poison Ivy. Uh, totally not stealing luchador masks. Trash Panda. Oh, shit. Just thrown today's model on the floor. You cursed me. You brought that energy here. Mate, my, my nipples are so pointy. Oh, that's... Uh, shouldn't have to add. This is Buster Nut. This is our dice stealing squirrel, Buster Nut. And we've got her royal thickness. Which I really struggle to get in focus. But yes, her royal thickness. With a booty to die for. Rest well, gnome. You did well to stay up this long. You're going to enjoy it. Just just go through. I think about has just realised I've been very clever behind the scenes. She's very thick. Elix, we'll do another day. We'll do a show and tell tomorrow, right? We'll catch up then. How about that? You're just going to have a leading tower of pizzas. You're going to work your way down. World's smartest mollusk. Hey, I'm happy to have you. Have you twice if my back and knees allow. Looks a very sad face, doesn't it? I hope people realise, who maybe don't quite know what I'm painting, that this isn't someone's peeled off face. Look! I got a face! A oh, fuck man. Could it easily be? Yeah, she, she's a certified rapper and content creator. It's really weird, actually. Uh, I've been talking in circles of different creators, right? Leatherface Raccoon. Uh, it's the, um, the Office episode where Dwight wears the uh, CPR dummy. Um... Yeah, when I, when I tell people I'm a content creator, they all assume it's OnlyFans because of my name being Mike Moans. 
and the fact that only fans girls go oh yeah i'm a content creator uh you have one metallic color left to do some bases bizarre finish the swords wonderful Varnish the color on the shield make them look enameled fantastic plodding through friend plodding through Uh, incentives. Why do you think you keep raiding me? Got your trained mates, Pavlovian. You see, even Willow's joining in. Look at that, the way she licks her mattress. Maybe, maybe, just a little, yeah. J just a tip, yeah? Very hard to focus right now, I'm afraid. Very hard when Willow takes into a slutty chicken pose. And all you're hearing is slopping sounds. Like sitting next to the couple at the back seat of the cinema, you know, it's just not right. You do, and I used them, uh, but I, I actually upgraded it a little bit. I don't know if I ever told you about this. Uh, I bought some aluminium circle stickers, and then I magnetized the paint handle. So they had, like, magnetic hats. So while they're all blue tacked to the MDF, the MDF are magnetic now, and I can slot them all on my chubby. I need to find where I put my chubby. I think it's underneath Willow's bed. Yeah. Oh, Diglett, you need to just go out there and start biting into wild animals. Restore the balance. Maybe it's steel discs. I thought they were aluminium. I bought some magnetic little discs. Right. Look here, you. Right, I'm fucking knackered. I was up all night video editing. Let me see if I can find them. I'm very tired.
can't remember what the trade name is, but they're basically just metal sheet stickers. Oh god, how could that be misconvened? I have a pack of them somewhere. Where the hell do I keep them? Oh, here you go. It's kind of like these, but it's not these. I paid a lot less, but you get the idea. Just a metal sticker. I have four brain cells today. One of them is still reeling from X-Men. Which I keep getting distracted and stop talking about. But yeah, Apollos. Jesus fucking Christ. That should have been the episode that was last week. You see my tweets about it. Wisdom. No, no spoils, Alex. We don't do that. Uh, but the only advice I will give you regarding the new X-Men, put down a towel. Jesus. I don't think an animated show has gone this hard in a long time. We have a spoilers channel in the Discord for this reason, guys. If you do want to talk about it, that's where you put it. How you doing, Lula? Welcome to Trash Panda. It was, uh, Jesus, though. Jesus. Hey, nice one, Lula. Just pulling some uh, dried paint out of the lid. <laughs> Is it just snacks? I've got stuff. By stuff, I mean snacks. The long road, and I get sugar tired. Ah, oh, just spooged paint. Never mind. There's a small blockage I didn't realise and it just shot everywhere. Ah, the goods. I understand. Right, what's it doing? Ah, uh, greens.
Really? Captain of Mood? What's that like, Lula? I live with Queen Bitch. I have to stream to give her treats or she will, you know, cut me. I'm not doing this because I want to be a streamer, guys. Willow just needs a bigger audience for her evil doings. You've all watched Cats and Dogs, right? I need to pick out his teeth again. Need to do the pads of the knees, the elbows. Not actually transferring pain. Is it like drag queens, Ola? reading each other for pill. Yath bitch, yath bitch, yath bitch. That's why I imagine it. I, I can't undo it. It's just how the brain, unfortunately, works. I may have knocked down my business cards. Or are they like London marketeers? Like, if anybody's ever been to a London market, the guy who sells strawberries, the fucking lungs on him. Yeah, planet two for a panned. And, it, you know, they add all these syllables to panned. No idea why. But then you've also got the butcher who's trying to outdo him. It's like, get your chops. Feed your family. And they really go for it. Like, they are trying to one-up each other and get attention. Desiree, you are entirely right. I do need to deprawn my back. Let me just uh, pick out the lucha mask. Gimpy bits.
Come on, man. Click all the gl all the joints. Oh. Ooh, three of them. That was nice. I am a hunchback. You're not thinking the gentleman, are you? I really enjoyed the Netflix gentleman series. Really enjoyed it. That's what I just put some of this on the palette, but I cannot see where. Um, the new series on Netflix, um, The Gentleman, really, really good, certainly if you have a crush on English men. Um, and one of the early gangsters you meet, um, he runs a fishmonger, uh, Peter Serafenowitz. He is fucking lit in that series. Ah. The fact he didn't get an award for that is beyond me. Peter Serafinowicz is one of the most slept on actors. That's a hill I'll die on. In fact, it's a hill I'll kill on. Also thought. Um, no, no, Lily, you can watch it. The last episode, um, last week's episode is a self contained episode, completely self contained, and doesn't involve the main cast. Roger Barton. Ah. Really? Clearly that's invested in me. And, uh, grinding my teeth. That's very true, yes. Executive branch. It keep that open because I'm using it for references. Oh yeah. Uh let your latte call this and kill Zach. Thank you very much. Well I'm not gonna be Roger Federer, am I, the tennis player? That's not gonna happen. I have a pretty good smash, but not tennis level.
Well, you're not being paid more if they're being promote if they're being pushed. I'm sure that was the first argument. Probably not. All the bluff. Say, relative to my position, that sounds like fairer pay for a lot less stress. I don't believe my current value next to that measures up. Lula, did you just stand there and go, I want more money for toys? No, I want more money for toys. That was nice, Lula. I never, never, ever got a raise. There was a point where I was a manager and they tried to give me less than the average worker. Because I was a deputy general manager at age 23, uh, living wage for 25 was significantly higher than the wage for a 18 to 25. So they tried to basically give me all the responsibility and liability, then pay me uh, less than the people I was three ranks higher than. So I took the job. Bear in mind, I already worked internally. I took the job. Then I immediately quit um, so that they don't have, then have to reapply. Uh, they couldn't hire within. Nobody else was able. Uh, they had to basically spend all the money and time refinding somebody. So I had the job title officially to get my next job, and the company I left were fucked. Oh, it never is, is it, Lazarus? I'm sure the next one up will say that too. Oh, that's a rare thing, to be honest, mate. Yep. Yeah. You got claws. My favourite one was when I left the, uh, the comic shop, which I had to do in the end before it closed because I was going to get screwed. Um... They were like, right, we need your contacts. We need all this. I was like, why am I giving you my contacts? Like, uh, I made this business. If I want to go and set up another one, that's on my back, not on yours. It's like, yeah, but you've got all the contact details for like the insurance and for all that. It's like, yeah, I do. I don't have to give them you. What kind of backward planet are you living on with good higher-ups?
Right, I can't tell what's wrong with him. Does the face need another highlight? He's supposed to have a greyish, dark patch face. But I'm not sure if the contrast's enough. Is that my problem? Yeah, mine's taking a nap right now. Ooh. Right, another highlight. I think that's improved it. No, not yet. It'll be like 7 o'clock tonight. They normally get here during stream or 7 o'clock. It's annoying. But I'll save it to open tomorrow. Right, let's get this guy on his base. Well, it's amazing how much you could save a business just by cutting a few middle managers. I've always said it's fucking like the NHS is all stacked wrong. That's just a fundamental law. I don't need three team leaders to run a team of nine. Supervisor just stands for general manager who doesn't need to be paid as much. Yep. Fucking tired of it, mate. When I apply for a job, I make sure I'm crystal clear on what job they want me to do now. I, I say this in five years, and I'm like, can you list down all the duties, please? And then I get back to them. It's normally the same thing. Very sorry. Uh, number one, this doesn't match the job title, nor does it match the salary. I believe you're advertising a general manager position here. Is there any wiggle room? And I just save myself loads of time. Because more often than not, they know they're doing it, so they just yield because they can't defend themselves. And I saved myself a lot of time. Yeah, because getting those positions is people-pleasing. It's not actually being good at your job. They want you to be competent enough to leave the person who hired you alone. This one looks really foggy. Why is this? Has he got... No, it's not got two layers on. Just a really foggy base. Even polished up. Yeah. Yeah, even polished. That edge is foggy. Might replace that.
I, I like to play the, I'm just going to match your energy. Uh, I don't have one to hand, fortunately. If I needed a blast of hot air, I'd just watch most Twitch streamers, <laughs> including myself. Oh, bless you about her. Well, that's the thing. Acting your wage is standard now. There's no point in climbing. I don't know how this is uh, elsewhere, but in the UK, if you want a raise, you have to leave your job. Like, you can't be in the same job and get a raise or a promotion. You have to leave. Sorry, urgent messages. Yeah. You should be leaving. Is it every two years they say you need to leave? Yeah. That, that is 100% true, Paintly. Well, apparently in the UK, flexi time is supposed to be like universally allowed to be requested now. Like you don't have to have a specific reason you can universally request it. Uh, but it doesn't state that the workplace has to respect it. You can just ask them now without like, I need flexi time because I've got disability or children. No, no, you can just ask for flexi time. So this wonderful new rule to help people find work by making it illegal to ask for flexi time without reason. Um, it just goes, no. Any cute? So that is our Lucha Raccoon. Uh, this is Buster Nut. Fucking retail, man. Is there anything that will drain your life so quick? The joy of humanity gone overnight. How you doing, friend? And then they are in allegiance with Thickums. We love Thickums. Fucking stupid, isn't it, Paintly? Right. Love this model. I, I love her. Um, yeah, it's fucking stupid. Embrace your destiny, slay your enemy, raise a legacy. Like, I remember at one of my jobs, right? They literally hired somebody to be a fall guy. Um, they basically hired them purely to do morning checks they were paid for two hours in the morning two hours in the evening uh, they'd work four hours a day two two-hour shifts and their entire job 
was to take responsibility for maintenance. Now, here's the problem. They weren't allowed to actually do any maintenance and nobody followed up on their report. So they signed off and then they took the, the hit. That was it. Their entire job was just to take the hit. Could it go shitty sideways? Yeah, pretty much that, Diggler, but on a much lower minimum wage bullshit level. Put this on the pack on the shelf. That's the thickums. Uh, Buster Nut. That's our raccoon. So we've got two more to do from that set, guys. We've got the druid to do. And uh, I've dropped her. And we've got the Amazon to do. So we've got about 20, 30 more, 40 more, maybe an hour minutes. I don't know. We've got a lot. We're going to do a very quick dry brush on that. What did you do, Maz? Tell me your secrets. One of my favourites was my old manager. It was toxic as fuck. Genuinely quite an abusive person. Um, they asked me to train a customer to do my job. And I was like, I refuse. And he was like, why? And he was like, I'm not training my replacement when I'm not being fired. And I'm not, like, doing anything wrong. Like, can you imagine being asked to train your replacement? And he's one of your regular customers. Can you imagine being that customer? We were really good friends. They came over to my house three nights a week. Yes. Where did you order it from, buddy? Did you get your Griffin Gaming? Did you save your monies? Good, good. Discount code and all. Look at you, wise one. You are one big dick gangster wizard today. You're making wise choices. What did you buy in the end? Nice, Corvus. Nice. Right, believe it or not, this is not going to be brown. It's going to be green. But I do want elements of green in it. With Sorry, elements of brown within the green. That was like, take photos, buy your own camera, make our booklet, and train this guy in Photoshop. The fuck? Uh, I did work for a company, which very briefly, it was a sales company. And they did like a recruitment day, had 30, 40 people in. And they went, right, we need you to write a, a full marketing and advert campaign uh, for this product. They had 30 professionals, wildly experienced, some non-experienced, all individually do a job. Uh, to promote this product line, work the sales pitch, write the script, stuff like that. How many do you think they hired? Hello, Jimmy. I do, I do. I'm keeping all right. None, because they'd have the job done. Yeah, straight up. There was no need to hire anyone. They they had thirty unpaid people work on it. Second they asked that, I left. Which walked out the room. There it is. I've not seen this in ages. How's the family, Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. Domingo, good day. How do you do? Yeah, Maz Baker, what did you order today? Jesus, another fever. Your heating mill must be really small for the year with how many fevers you've had as a family. These children, they keep bringing home plague, pestilence, Nurgle's gifts. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, the top, mate, my knee's clean. Do you want to, want to come over? You've clearly been EGW one too many times because they don't wash. <laughs> Thank you very much. All hail the grandfather. Just the two player box set. Good start. A solid maneuver. Oh my god, the dry shower, of course. My apologies, Kate. Guys, welcome aboard the hype train. First stop, cat treat for Willow. Big yogurt. This baby's not had a yogurt in a few streams. Look at the baby. You see, she's so annoyed. She's had to meow. Yogurts for Jesus, your tummy's warm. You have loved that heated bed. Willow, no, no, that's not how you get yogurt. That's not how you get yogurt from people. It wasn't even a clean, it was just a flash, wasn't it? Lula giving away five memberships on the old uh, Yubi Chubi. You bloody lovely being you. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I need to figure out how to do a YouTube hype train. That's something else. Oh, I see those orcs being uh, adopted. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Jimmy, it, I, I've, I've been busy. Um, Corvus, thank you very much. Um, so YouTube partner, Jimmy. Um, I'm, I'm technically a YouTube partner now. <laughs> Took me four months. There's two stages to it. The first stage, you need 500 subscribers, 3,000 watch hours. That lets people give me money on YouTube. The next stage is 4,000 watched hours and uh, 1,000 uh, subscribers. So, sub sub. I'd love to tell you about my day. Would you? Yeah. What else? I'd love to see if I can somehow make your life easier. Uh, in fact, I need to check the stats. Cause I've not done that. Let me have a little gander. Let me let me let me show you this. Let me, let me show you this. So I've been very busy, Jimmy. Very busy. We are now 142 subscribers away. Thank you, you lovely beans. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's taken about four months of consistent work. Um, but I've got a video that is currently members only which is available to everyone at half three. Uh, and I've been busy pumping out content, getting some decent numbers here and there. Uh, let's have a look where we are on the earnings. Uh, um. I'm 400 watch hours away, guys. Like, if we maintain 10 people in the YouTube stream continuously, uh, we'll do that in, like, two weeks. Not even that. Like, less than two weeks. Moan's Tube is the hot thing right now. It's so hot. It's so spicy. Uh, the other thing about YouTube memberships, Jimmy, just to fill you in, uh, they're 70% to the, uh, to the streamer. And you set your own pricing. So I can I'm charge. There. <laughs> Ooh. So I could charge a hundred pounds a membership, and I'd get seventy quid. I've kept mine at four pounds, I think it is, uh, because that's the Twitch rate. I can play back, Harry. You nearly had me then. Jesus. Um. You genuinely nearly had me. Go with a little troll hide. Um, so yeah, they're seventy percent. Um, it's significantly cheaper for everybody involved. Patreon is the best way, but you can't gift Patreon subs. Uh, so I always do prefer if you are supporting me personally, please do Patreon. I cannot stress enough. Three pounds on Patreon is the equivalent of about six pound fifty of 
Twitch. So if you send me six pound fifty on Twitch subs, I would get the equivalent of one three pound sub, basically. Ooh yeah. Do you know what Tangier needs? Right, more Macho Man pop ups. Not just the TTS, but it's more. I need to figure out what would constitute a level three hype train on YouTube. That's something I've not yet considered. I know I need to. But Jimmy, where's the time? Time is but a construct that limits us from happiness. Rice getting some more vitamin me. How you doing, friend? Uh, but yeah, um, I'm having great success on YouTube. Um, yeah. Four months of jiggly Mike can poker. charge us anything he wants, and he knows it. Our broke, fleshy human asses will still support him. We do enjoy him smelling that enjoyable, stinky kitty yogurt he gives his pet. The fact that it almost makes him vomit it's surely doesn't make right? us laugh. Surely. That was a bit rough, that one. Not going to lie. Corvus being a champion as well. Thank you, Corvus. Sorry. I don't know if I said it at the time, but I definitely do appreciate it. Corvus is going in on winning that army. Yeah, it was a bit rough, wasn't it? Oh, mate, it's never too late to come and enjoy your company. Corvus needs a Rumble Slam team. More Rumble Slam teams. Essis, are you uh, still looking at coming to UKGN next year? Because you're going to need a Rumble Slam team. Oh, oh. Now, this is epic. I like that one. Do you want the very sexual dwarves that have big Billy Joel energy? Have you guys seen the Uptown Boys? Pause. Why? Oh, promote dagger heart. Yeah, that's why. Um, it's got a lot of pros and cons. Uh, I've watched quite a few review videos, and uh, they are a bit up and down. Uh, but I, I really think it's going to get a second edition or a second printing. Guys, what's the music video with everyone using like power tools and they go for a workshop? Very famous music video. I should know it, but I'm not remembering it. See, my first instinct was to ignore you, Petters, because it would be a troll. But now I'm not sure.
Yeah, it might be, Silver. I don't have a memory for music videos. Came in that part of my life where I became a mollusk. Moonbeam Nav, thank you very much for this guy, thank you very much. This is what happens, Jimmy comes in and they all start tangiering again with ooh, -ooh voices. You were right. You see, my instinct was to assume he was a troll. Even though they were completely cracked. Right, right. I need you to understand this, guys. This set here of dwarves from Rumble Slime, the Runic Thunder, right? I has the same energy as this. Any objections? Again? Again. One more time. Again. This is just this. Um, Adeline, have you got that um that wheelchair one that uh Dragon Trap Lodge did? His finishing move is called Choo Choo. It, it's got the same energy. Like, I can't unsee it. <laughs> they had the same picture indeed. Ah, good, Mr. Fister. So you got Roddy Salvage, right? You got Roddy Salvage, right? Got Roddy's help. I may have a spare uh, because Mike stupidly couldn't find his Macho Man Roddy Salvage and has been through loads and loads of boxes and can't find it. Sarah came over the next day and went, It's probably in that box. So I actually have a second one. So if I find it, you can have it. Oh, mate, you've been amazing at helping me get my YouTube going. I can't quite appreciate you more. It's been a while since they brought out some dwarves. Maybe they need to go back and revisit them. So this month is Pieces of D8 getting love. Last month was Forest Souls. Month before that was Gamora. No, Feral Den. Month before that was Gamora.
lots of bits, bobs for the hair. We've got the booby holders. Also known as a bra. So we've got this model to do, then we've got an Amazon to do, then the Forest Souls release is done. Need to get the reference up again. I keep closing it. A bloody. Oh no, it's there. Thickums Dryad. There you go. Get a little red. I do want this to look very poison ivy. I am afraid, Pessis. I want you to realise what I have here is fear. I like to put comic books in my minis. You've always known this, guys. We have Fantastic Four Thing in Rumble Slam. And I want Poison Ivy. And I will do Harley Quinn as Harley Quinn because I'm very basic. James Kim Bui Kaudenobi is an English actile comedian, Sinju, Witto producer, and Faumio Tua Vision host. In the United Kingdom, he is best known for co-writing and starring in the critically acclaimed BBC sitcom Gavin, Stacy, Kimberly, Wee Kimberly, Kimberly, Wee Wee, Sui Sui, Nia. I want you to understand the latent violence that has awoken in me. Was awesome, Silver. The the fans have ruined Harley Quinn. Fundamentally, great character will not deny that, but the fans have ruined her over the years. I think the biggest hit Harley Quinn ever took was the first Suicide Squad film. I'd like to try Pessis. Oh no, that's the rose. The, the second one, the James Gunn one, yes. I find very little to pick at that. I think that is genuinely a really good movie. How you do, Rob? Are you well, friend? There's a lot of, I can't tell if they're meant to be thorns in the hair. How many have you gone through? You make it sound like you've got an army of them. Um, I love the Harley Quinn TV series. It is genuinely really fun. Uh, really solid voice cast. Really fun kind of B cast as well. Uh, the fact that it's openly willing to Joker itself is a very big reason I love it. Alan Tujic as the Joker is hilarious. Uh, to give you an idea, Rob, the very first scene it opens with is a, a bunch of rich white men on a boat. And the opening dialogue is, Hello, my fellow whites. We're gathered here today to do our favourite thing. Fuck the poor. That's the opening joke of the series. 
I loved it. It genuinely was brilliant. Third season, a little wobbly. Kite Man's getting a spin-off, which I'm so happy to hear. Because Kite Man is amazing. We love Kite Man. We stand Kite Man. She's fantastic. Again, I love the character. There's there's two or three comics, obviously, that like really stand out for her. Uh, but what like first of all, her appearances in the animated series, amazing. Um Second of all, you've got Mad Love, which is a continuation of it. Fantastic. Uh, from there, you've got the Gotham White Knight series. Her as Harley Quinn. Amazing. Love that. Uh, what was the other one? Um, Endgame. I think it was Endgame. Um, you also got Death of the Family. It's, it's genuinely really, really good. Really solid watching. I think more people need to give it a go. Bane is by far the best thing in the show. Um, there's a bit on the... They did a Valentine's Day special. And I can't remember the actor's name. Forgive me for this. Uh, but Bane gets super duper horny due to Venom being mixed with magic spell. Um, and or Titan, I can't remember which version he's on at that point. Um, and he ends up basically becoming this super-duper kaiju who is obsessed with the actor who plays Roy Kent in Ted Lasso. It was so fucking funny. I was crying. I love 60s Batman. Oh, the other one I really like, Harley Quinn, in, was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover. I enjoyed it. I loved that. I'm sorry. I loved it. You need to watch it. It's fantastic. It is so honourable to both franchises. And it's fun. Um, I wouldn't read the comic first. I think it's going to be wildly different. Uh, this one's like a fun TV superhero mashup. The comic's a lot more serious. Um, I think you could watch them very independent. Well, read them in, and process them very independently. I, genuinely, the animation alone is a good reason to watch Batman TMNT. It's a very good rainy day filmer if you need a pickup. Yeah, um, I'll be honest, didn't expect it to go down so well. I was one of the skeptics. Hey, blood. Fox 60s Batman and they shall appear. Explosion. <laughs> my shock repellent bat spray. Have you noticed how, like, 60s Batman is really akin to Warhammer 40k at the moment? I'm going to do this really fun move. That I've put a load of points, strategy, and practice into doing. Pulls out random bullshit. I'm sorry, but you've been tabled. God damn it. Same energy as... Oh, I just so happen to have shark repellent bat spray. Oh, I just so happen to know a technique from a Tibetan monk that will let me breathe underwater through my anus like a dolphin. Because that's how dolphins swim, right? Right? How is blood? Adeline, can we come in and shame me again? Hungry and tired. Yes. I, I like to stay in my swamp, Adeline. 
But I do like the Baptusi. I love the fact, right, Titans was a, a mixed bag of a show, if I'm being kind. Uh, but the fact that they got Sir Jorah, Sir Jorah of the Friend Zone from Game of Thrones uh, to dance the Baptusi and for it to make sense in the universe was pretty genius. Mike is so broke when someone stole his identity, they mailed it back with a $5 bill paper clip to it. Bwah ha ha ha, Evil Bender is back. And if you don't like it, you can kiss my shiny metal ass. It just feels wrong. But you're not wrong on that statement. Expensive season. Random username 4P Romo asked me, Romo. Can you explain to Mike Moans about the orifice dolphins breathe through? In the vast, shimmering ocean of knowledge, Mike Moans embarks on a quest to understand the marvels of marine life. The dolphin, a creature of grace and intelligence, possesses a singular orifice atop its head, known as the blowhole. This natural marvel functions as both a nostril and a conduit for the majestic ballet of breath, allowing the dolphin to surface and inhale a fresh gust of air before diving back into the abyss. Excellent. A simple yet profound adaptation for life in the boundless blue. Random, how do you do, friend? Rest well, Taz. It is just a bad impression of Bender. It really is. Mothbolt, hello, how do you do? I'm an adult, I promise. I pay taxes and shit. I am still going barren, yeah. I've got a little bit more to do. We've done the raccoon, we've done the squirrel, we've done the uh, thickums. We're doing a bit on the dryad. Trying to put off working on skin because I know I've got to finish by half three. Alright, I'll show them all off before the end. Maybe. What about it, Celebrity? What about it? No, it just it's not got the heart. I think Bender's a lot funnier with context, you know? Like Bender is a lot funnier because he's with Fry, because he's with the devil, because he's with they look, look. Yeah, don't add too hard, I don't recommend it. Team. Hello, I do, I do. We've got a dryad on the table today. We're just doing the leaves. I had to figure out the word leaves then for a moment. I bring good. I have a degree in wildlife biology and struggle to figure out the word for leaf. I knew I should have got a coffee on my half time. Three feathers. Indeed. The CB keeping well, homing. What you need to do at about three o'clock every day is take a nap random. That's what I do. Immediately after stream, straight into nap. Then I get a second wind where I can do jobs. Yeah, my degree has been uh, useless to me. 
Nice, Seb. It's really weird because I have basically like parents sleeping without actually doing any parenting duties or any of it. I just have you guys. Um, and what I mean by that is I don't sleep all night. I'm awake at every little noise. And then if I manage to get five minutes to myself to sit down and enjoy something, I end up asleep because I don't have the energy to actually enjoy it. Is that about right? Oh, you want to watch a film before bed? Ha, <laughs> good luck. What are you going to do, right? You're going to sleep for 25 minutes, yeah? Then you're going to stare at the ceiling all night. Fuck you, Mike. Fuck you. Package! Could it be? Could it be? It's not. <laughs> it's Amazon. <laughs> Sorry. Right. All four years. Oh, fuck. Right, I'm going to have to hoard a few if I see them in my local. We'll have to hand you over one, Mike. The good... They're, they're bastards, though, B&M. Every time I've gone in, they've added another pound to them. Every single time. B&M needs to learn its place as the cheap shop, right? Fucking brown sauce, four pounds. Get over yourself. The Dungeons and Lasers ones in my video. Mate, ketchup's more than fuel. And I bloody drink the stuff nearly. Adeline underscore out underscore of underscore line asked me, why is Mike Moans fixated with his obsession with Delphinidae and misinformation of the breeding via the anus? In the grand tapestry of the internet, Mike Moans, much like the explorer of old, delves into the uncharted territories of myth and reality. Their fascination with Delphinidae and the curious misinformation regarding their breathing perhaps mirrors humanity's enduring quest for wonder, even at the expense of accuracy. In the digital realm, truth and fiction often entwine like the strands of a DNA helix, providing entertainment and bemusement in equal measure. Well, thank you, David. Glad we've clarified all this bumhole talk. Out of all the words in my stream to ban, anus was not on the list. Uh, interesting moment with the bard player in your last session. He was bored, I suppose. He basically went to make an intimidation check, bypassed an encounter, and he said, it's time you surrender. Uh, nothing more, not even his intention. Uh, still made him roll through, successfully intimidated the thug. But the bugbear wasn't that impressed. Bear. Um, the way I do my intimidation checks is I make them role play it and then give them modifiers based on that. Uh, because too many people just think, yeah, I'm going to just skip it. And then they go, oh, I've got like 30 plus in persuasion. And it's like, well, 
everyone could have a bad day. Don't use that logic to make everyone bring out an inspiring jingle every time they use Bardic Inspiration. But, you know, you get the point. Good luck, Baron. As soon as this stream's done, half three, there's a YouTube video for Rumble Slam going live on my channel, bud. Just so you got some it later, if you uh, would be interested. Yes, buddy. It was an experience, that video. <laughs> you see, my bard's a lawyer. Who trying to get Cobalt worker right. No, fair. Obviously, it depends on your players. Like, if you're playing with a theatre group, you can do so much. What do we do? What do we do? What a start, Flash. Not really. Two thorns, then. And somebody who's not a member of my YouTube channel. Just see if my video is actually going to do a premiere or not. Because I've never done a member only early access before. And it did make it sound like you could do a premiere as well, but it, when it went through, it looks like you can't. It is a horrible instrument. I don't want to start flesh. To be fair, if I do hang around in the Discord tonight, I could finish this miniature tonight, which means we do the Amazon tomorrow, then they're all done. Not there. Right, so it's not worked. That's annoying. Oh, well, it might do a little bit worse than my other videos, but I wanted to make sure that the people who were kind enough to be members uh, were rewarded. Even in a superficial way. I, I probably won't do it for every video in future, but because it's new, I, I wanted to try the feature. to Bram. Because the thing is, being a streamer, being able to get 30 views just by people leaving Twitch to go to YouTube is huge. Yeah, this is the problem. Every time you think... The other problem is as well, is I don't know what the integration to Patreon is. Because... If I put it on a private link, I can give it to Patreons first. But I can't do a private link if I'm making it for members first. Oh, is double uploading not going to hurt the algorithm, though? I 
I've got so much to learn about YouTube, it's a joke. Okay. Guys, I may, I never ever want one platform to be higher than another, particularly, uh, except you know where it's financially wildly different. So Patreon is financially wildly different from Twitch and YouTube. It's a near ninety-five percent to me. Uh, so Patreons are always going to be top of the Mike Moans Care Food chain. Because the fact that they're able to not only provide more, but they're doing it every month and that they're making like a super effort to do so, I massively appreciate it. But I'm trying to give Patreon perks, but I can't give them every perk if I don't have the facility to do so. Like, I really want to. I'm doing everything I can. This month, triple entries on giveaways. If you're on the Patreon... Like, I, I I give a lot. You get a six-month loyalty pack. You get all the other bells and whistles. Some of you haven't actually got back to me about your stream audios. If you want them, let me know if you're on the £10 plus tier. Bonus giveaways for Patreon only. Trying to remember that. Oh god, that. I know Pixie's been working on some evil. Potato memes. Tiger third eye about it. Thank you very much. The other question is: Do I do the flesh tone for this from flesh tone, or do I do it from green? I really do like poison ivy, but I don't know if I want to do the green poison ivy or the fleshy poison ivy. I need to ponder my orb over that. For me, poison ivy is always the animated suit. Always. But I did really like the Arkham take on her, where she's got that slight bit of green under. Right here, boys and girls. It is going to be time for us to rain out, so I'm going to ponder my orb over that. Uh, so let me take you to somebody lovely. Where are we going? Right. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where do you guys want to go today? Red drawing cats. Um, who else is online? Ah, the hard truth, Barter. Unfortunately, without a premiere, I can't really take a crowd there. I will link everybody before we go.
Hawaii. Yes, very good. Uh, right. Um, um, we can see Ottilie. If you want to see them making a first soup. Um, who else? Let me have a look. What's in makers and crafting today? Our troll lord doing anything today? I'm not sure if it's a replay or not. The thing. They got rid of that. Yeah, we'll go raid Troll Lord. They've raided us many times. Let's go send them some love. Uh, guys, I need you to bring the big dick raid energy. Um, I'm not going to openly say why, but I need your most throbbiest members. Um, it would mean the world to me. Um, let me just get you the link for our YouTube video for today. Which is going live in two minutes. Here we go. So guys, if you do want to join in the video, it will be live in just two minutes. Copy the link. Guys, please bring big raid energy. I really do need it. Uh, I will see you in uh, Discord with the uh, YouTube watching. So have fun, friends. Bye-bye now.